Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Dylan D, and welcome to the Ark Tutorial, a massive sailing slimestone pirate ship with three gassed cannons that can fire out of both sides of the boat, along with captain's quarters expanded through two levels. I even gave my character a pirate outfit and a parrot just for this video. Words cannot describe, though, how thankful I am to you all for your amazing feedback and support over the past year I've been on YouTube. And today, we can finally close one of the incredible chapters I decided to open so long ago. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Without you all, I would not be here today. The fun doesn't stop here, though. My next video will finally be those transportation-themed slime block vehicles I spoke of in the Peekabot tutorial. Then after that, a brand new, massive machine show case featuring my first multi-directional war machine. But bringing the topic back to today's video, I just want to let you all know that this tutorial is advanced, meaning you must have excellent pause button skills <laughs> and be able to pay close attention. But that's it really. The arc I build in the tutorial can be seen here, sailing beautifully. I assure you, if you follow this tutorial block for block, making sure to pause after every few blocks, you will have a working pirate ship in your world. Every block placed was filmed, so if it breaks, you've probably just missed a redstone block or piston, or accidentally added one too many blocks. As well though, this build will only work for console and PC versions of Minecraft. And lastly, the world download for the Ark can be found in the description. Uh, but of course, if you feel yourself experiencing some sort of joy while watching today's video, then please leave a like to help my channel grow even more. And uh, if more videos like this one are what you are after, then I encourage you to subscribe. But with all of that being said, this one's to you guys, The Ark. All right, so for this build, you guys will need a ton of what is listed here. Now, the only reason I did not list every single specific block in the build and then go through it with you guys is because then I would be sifting through about five or so chests, <laughs> which I, you know, we could do that, but then we'd be sitting here for a pretty long amount of time. So uh, to cut all that time down, uh, what we have here in front of us is just a general uh, display of all the things that are in the build. Now, now, the blocks up here are what you will need a lot of. Uh, to the top is a significant amount of, and then down here is probably a lot, but not as much. Uh, next up right here is going to be uh, minimal, minimal amounts of all these blocks right here. Like, for example, there's only like seven obsidian in the build, uh, a few amount, only like five or six glowstone. There's only like five sea lantern. Uh, the end stone there's just in the engine so that's probably only like five or six end stone so you know very minimal pieces here uh, these down here are just of course your gas uh, these two are to help you your potion of night vision of course uh, long duration uh, to help you underwater then of course uh, to help that as well depth strider 3 on your helmet would really help you'll need an enchanted helmet uh, depth strider 3 is just uh, for speed in the water aqua affinity and respiration are just to enhance your vision for the tutorial so uh, you can visually see all the blocks very well. Next up, flint and steel to start it up and stop it, and then uh, a bunch of temporary blocks. So I just put uh, spruce wood here because in the video I use the uh, spruce wood uh, log a lot as my temporary block. So that's the only reason I have that here. This is any temporary block you wish. Uh, so yeah, going a little bit further in depth, we have the slime blocks here, which I'm going to say is going to be your most heavy block of the build. Uh, for slime blocks, there are just over 1,300 of them, so that means there's going to be just over 20 stacks of slime blocks. Now that is an insane amount of slime blocks. Uh, next up down the list, we have the sticky pistons and the pistons, which of course is going to use a lot of wood. Now just for the planks, I would say there's just uh, probably about two to 300 less planks than there are slime blocks. So probably about 1,000 to 1,100 of those, uh, which of course is going to be a lot of stacks as well. Not to mention, that's not counting all the wood you'll need for your pistons and your sticky pistons. So of course, that's, I mean, it's just going to be a lot of stuff. I didn't want to sift through all the chests. Uh, redstone blocks, uh, there's going to be an insane amount of those as well. Uh, after your wood and whatnot, you have your brown concrete. 
uh, the reason uh, for the brown, brown concrete is uh, to be inside the gassed uh, kind of cages to kind of slightly reinforce the inside. Uh, so when their fireballs fire, they're not just strictly hitting wood or something if one were to hit. So uh, knowing that the brown concrete, there's not a lot of it. Uh, there's more than, you know, say some other blocks in the build, but there's not a lot. Uh, next up, we have the black wool and the white wool, which of course there is hundreds upon hundreds of black wool I'd say about six to seven hundred black wool um, the white wool though is only for the skull so the skull isn't like a huge portion of the build so it's very small uh, next up we have white stained glass that's for like the back and like the very pretty aesthetic uh, portions of the boat and then uh, next up we have birch fence now these are basically just to symbolize rope in the build so they'll be in between like the sails and whatnot so there's obviously less of these than per se like the the black wool or the the white wool next up we have spruce fence there's only a few of these in the back of the build but of course i just wanted to add them in uh because of course it's a block in the build uh court stairs this is only going to be in the captain's quarters and around the front of the helm of the ship uh, so you're not going to need a lot of these. Uh, I would just say probably about like half a stack, you're good to go. Uh, same with these spruce wood stairs. There's quite a bit, but it's only for the uh, kind of angles and whatnot to get those right on all of the corners of the ship. So uh, moving on uh, to all of the very minimal things we'll need. Uh, sea lanterns, we'll need about five or six of those. Glowstone, you only need about five or six of those. Seven, obsidian, exactly, or any immovable block that you wish. Uh, block of iron, we'll only need uh, about three or four of those. Uh, endstone, you'll only need about five or six for the overall engine, probably seven or eight, not too bad. Uh, spruce fence gate, you only need two of these. That is for the door to the captain's quarters. <clears throat> Next up, we need just one rail, if you wish, or two, and that's only to place on a temporary block so we can place our minecart with chest and of course the boats you'll need two of those to place your mine cards uh, with chest on then i've already been over the helmet and the night vision potion so those are a must those will help you considerably you don't want to be blinded trying to build the bottom three uh like three levels of the arc underwater don't want to be doing that so a bunch of temporary blocks flint and steel ghasts and yeah, make sure to name the guests once you have them going. And as soon as you do all that, you guys, we are ready to jump into the tutorial. All right, so once you have everything in your hotbar ready to go, and when you have your night vision running, and also when you have your helmet on to help you see underwater, you are ready to start the tutorial. Now, for the people that want this uh, arc in a specific location, I have laid out the dimensions for you right here. The arc will be 60 blocks long, and it will be 15 blocks wide from side to side. And of course, uh, beginning a little bit underwater, as you can see, the arc will be 47 blocks blocks tall so knowing all of this uh, if you want it in a specific location if not if you're just gonna build it out in the middle of nowhere then you don't have to pay attention to this right away but if you do want it in a specific spot what we're gonna go ahead and do is come all the way to the back of where the arc will be now we're gonna build the arc uh, sailing that direction so as long as you guys know that uh, you know where the front is uh, we'll be building it right next to this one uh, for reference and of course it looks like uh, the guests will be watching us so with that being known you go ahead and come back to the back corner and you can count up one block two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so once you have reached your tenth block you can start counting inwards this being your first block uh this one that our tenth block will be a first one this time so one two three four five six seven and eight eight will be our middle block as you can see marked off right there and uh, knowing that what we can go ahead and do is come down three blocks underwater so our eighth block being our first this time one two three and then you want to go ahead and place these two iron blocks just like so now once you have these two iron blocks you can go ahead and remove all of your temporary blocks and once you have done that we can go ahead and continue the build so coming back down this way you want to go ahead and grab your slime blocks from the two iron blocks that you have starting up off of the front so of course that's the front of the arc will be all the way up there from the front of these two iron blocks you want to go ahead and place one slime block just like so 
Next up, you can go ahead and place in two temporary blocks to both sides of that slime block with an iron block in the middle and a piston off of the front of that iron block. Now, knowing this, what we're going to go ahead and do is grab our slime blocks again and come out two more from that initial slime block that we placed with a redstone block on top of them all. So, knowing all of this, we can move forward to this piston, come out from it with one slime block like so, and then one slime block to both sides. Now, once you have this, you can add a redstone block to the top. Top. Then grab your uh, block of choice and place two on the back like so, leaving room for that piston of course in the middle. Then you can go ahead and add three more block of choice to the front and then two to the sides like so, leaving room for a piston. So once you have all of this, we can go ahead and grab our slime blocks again, come out one block like so, add a redstone block to the top of it. Grabbing our blocks of choice, we can add one to both sides of our initial slime block. Again, this is a slime block, just in case uh, you guys didn't catch it. Uh, next up, we can go ahead and grab our block of choice again and come out one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. So all six of those blocks were our block of choice. Next up, we can throw down a piston uh, to the front of all those blocks of choice, then come out from it with one slime block, just hovering. Next up, we can go ahead and throw down a uh, redstone block on the top of it, and then two more blocks. Of choice on the front and that will be it for the uh, very simple first step of the arc so once you have all of this I'll go ahead and give you a, a reference shot as you can see we're moving towards the front starting at the bottom as soon as you have all of this you are ready to move forward all right, so moving forward, what we're going to go ahead and do is head over to the back of the machine uh, to where we placed our first redstone block. And then we're going to grab our regular pistons and we're going to drop back and place one right here. Again, that is a regular piston, you guys, just to clarify. Now, uh, once you've done that, you can go ahead and place two slime blocks up just like so. Grabbing your sticky pistons, you want to go ahead and face this direction and place one on the top uh, side of this slime block. Now, once you have done that, you can place a redstone block out to the side to make sure that this sticky piston extends. Now, once you have that, it will be grabbing a slime block, and then we will have to move towards the inside of the machine, and then on the side of that slime block, we will place a regular piston. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. Of course, that is a piston, two slime blocks, sticky piston extended backwards with that redstone block, slime block, and then a regular piston piston. Now once you have all of this, uh, obviously this redstone block has to be coming from somewhere. So we're going to go ahead and place one slime block coming off the front of it. Uh, of course that was just a reference shot. The top slime block that I just placed will be peeking out of the water and then you want one slime block underneath it just like so. Now once you have this, what you can go ahead and do is add a slime block uh, to that last slime block we just placed like so. Next up we can drop down and place another one on the bottom just like this. Then we want a piston on the bottom slime block uh, facing forward like so and then another regular piston right here uh, on the opposite side of where this redstone block is on this slime block so once you have this I'm gonna go ahead and mirror it up for you guys really fast uh, so it doesn't get uh, any more confusing because this is a pretty confusing part so knowing that what we're gonna go ahead and do is come up two slime blocks from this piston then we're gonna grab a sticky piston facing this direction and place it we want a redstone block on the side so it looks like this all together then we want a slime block right here then a regular piston again right here along the side of that slime block then we can actually go ahead and place redstone blocks right here so one two just like so now once you have uh, this we're gonna go ahead and move back over to this side and this redstone block must be pulled forward so we want a slime block out to the front a slime block on the top and then a slime block on the bottom of course the top one should be peeking out of the water like so next up we're gonna go ahead and do is come down to this slime block from the slime block that's peeking out of the water we can go ahead and add in one more slime block here and then one to the bottom and then we can go ahead and grab our pistons again and we can place a piston right here and then another piston right there which will perfectly mirror the other side now of course i hope that was uh, easy to follow you guys uh, it's kind of confusing with the sticky pistons underwater and the pistons it's hard to see them so of course if you have to uh, do that part again if you didn't get it then hey it happens but yeah uh, once you have that whole little piece back here you are ready to move forward 
All right, so next up, what we're gonna go ahead and do is grab our blocks of choice, and we're gonna go ahead and mosey back to these pistons, this one here and this one over here. Now I'm gonna start with uh, this one on this side, and what we wanna go ahead and do is come off of it with one block of choice, one slime block in front of that, and then three more block of choice in front of that slime block. Then we want one, two, three more block of choice to the top. Next up, we can add a piston to the front of uh, all of that, just right here on the bottom segment of the block that we placed. Now, as you'll notice, there is no redstone block for this piston uh, to update or to power it to move this entire segment forward. But later on in the tutorial, when we come out of this piston, uh, the redstone block that updates this piston also updates this piston down here. So no need to worry. I haven't forgotten anything. Now, next up, we're going to go ahead and go back to our blocks of choice coming off of this regular piston with one. Next up, we can go ahead and add in a redstone block next to this one, and then connect the block of choice with the redstone block with three slime blocks that look exactly like this. Next up, we can add a slime block in right there with two blocks of choice like so coming off of that slime block. Then we want a block of choice coming off the back of this slime block. So you have this overall shape so far. Next, we can add a piston, place it right here on the inside of the slime blocks next to this long wooden piece. Next up, we can go ahead and come off of of this piston here with another block of choice. Then we want to wrap around it three slime blocks to this direction towards the outside of the machine. Next up, we can go ahead and uh, throw down a redstone block right here. And then next up, we want a slime block right here. Then we can add in a block of choice on top of that other one, which is right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we can go ahead and add in a block of choice here, a block of choice right there, slime block here, block of choice directly on top of that slime block, and then a piston on the inside. So you should be looking at a crazy looking piece that looks like this. I'll go ahead and... Uh, Give you some give you a little wrap around there so you can see that whole piece kind of confusing but yeah not not impossible <laughs> next up what we're going to go ahead and do is go to our slime blocks coming out of this piston and we want one slime block floating there with two more in front of it i'm going to go ahead and up the dose on my uh, night vision then i'm going to go back to my blocks of choice and then I'm going to go ahead and place one along the sides of each of those slime blocks, then a redstone block here. So you should be looking at this overall shape uh, so far. Next up, what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab a piston, and I'm going to place it right there on the bottom, and then go back to my block of choice and place two more just like so. So this is the full uh, little piece there that we just put in, just so you can see it all at once. Next up, what we're going to go ahead and do is come off of this piston with one more slime block, redstone block here, and then two block of choice, just like so, coming out of the front of that redstone block, and then an upside down staircase. So once you have all of this whole piece, just like so, <clears throat> excuse me again, we can go ahead and move forward, but uh, we're going to go ahead and mirror it to the other side. So coming out of this piston, you want to, of course, uh, that same block that we started with, uh, block of choice. Next up, coming out of the front of it, you want a slime block, and then out of the front of the slime block, you want one, two, three block of choice choice and then one two three more block of choice coming out of the top next up you can go ahead and just throw down a piston now coming out of that piston you want another block of choice coming out of the front then you can place a redstone block next to this one then you want three slime blocks to connect all those blocks that you just placed <clears throat> next up we can go ahead and place another slime block right here a uh, block of choice behind it and in f uh, in front of it to the side so like right here next up you can go ahead and add in a piston just like so so you can get this whole view i'll go ahead and pan around it really fast next up coming out of this piston we're going to go back to these blocks we can just place uh, one regular block here another on top of it two slime blocks and then another block of choice right here directly to the front of it coming back from this slime block we can come back two with a redstone block right here so once you have this overall shape go ahead and pan around real quick now, once you have this overall shape, you can go ahead back to your uh, block of choice, place one right here. Then you want a uh, slime block in front of that, block of choice on top of that slime block, and then a piston to the side. So you should be looking at this overall shape so far. Now, once you have all of this, we're gonna go ahead and uh, move over to our slime blocks, and we're gonna place one here with two in front of it, redstone block here, and then we want uh, to form fit those slime blocks with three uh, block of choice. Next up, we're gonna have a piston coming out of this, uh, these two slime blocks on the bottom. 
and uh, two movable blocks of choice again right here. Now coming out of this piston, uh, real quick, I'll go, go ahead and give you the wrap around. As long as this piece looks exactly the same as the first piece we made, we are good to go. Next up, we can go ahead and add in a slime block out here, redstone block on top of it, two block of choice out to the front of that redstone block, and an upside down staircase just like so. So once you have all of that mirrored up uh, on both sides so it looks really nice, you are ready to move forward. All right, so moving forward, what we're gonna go ahead and do is go all the way back to these pistons that we placed uh, just a little while ago. We're gonna go ahead and grab our slime blocks and we're gonna come out from this piston with a slime block like so, one underneath it, and then we want a redstone block to the back just like this. Now, once you have that, we can go ahead and grab our uh, block of choice, place one coming off uh, the front of the top slime block, and then you want another slime block in front of that with a piston in front of that. So you should have this overall shape so far. Then you can grab your uh, block of choice again and come out three blocks from this slime block here. Next up, you can come out from this piston with another block of choice and you can grab your slime blocks and you wanna come back uh, one right there and then two more to the side just like so with a redstone block right there. Next up, you can actually look down at this piston and you can add in a, uh, another block of choice. So knowing that, you can add in a block of choice right here coming back to the front and then three more off the top of this slime block. Then you can add in a piston right there. Now, uh, next up, we can go ahead and come off of this piston here with a uh, block of choice, not a slime block. And then you want another block of choice in front of it. Then we're gonna wrap around it with uh, three slime blocks like so, with a fourth one just right here, and then a redstone block right there. Now, coming back around to uh, this side, what we can go ahead and do is add in a uh, block of choice right here, and then two more block of choice right there with a piston uh, right here, diagonal to this block. Now, once you have all of that, uh, this is that whole section. So we're about halfway up uh, the full piece that I wanna get, but that's okay. Uh, just to make the tutorial easier, we can go ahead and stop right here and mirror it. So doing that, we're gonna come back to this piston right here with the redstone block back there. So this piston, coming off of it, we want one slime block out, one slime block underneath it, then we want a redstone block right there. Next up, we can go ahead and grab our uh, block of choice again, place one right here, and then we want a slime block in front of it with a piston in front of that. Then coming off the top of this slime block, we want one, two, three, block of choice. Uh, block of choice coming out of this piston, just like so. And then what we will do is uh, wrap around it with slime blocks. So we want a slime block here, and then we want a slime block here and here. So as I get my footing, <laughs> then we want a redstone block just like so. So once you have uh, all of this, um, go ahead, peek around so you can see it all. We wanna go ahead and place a block of choice on top of this piston. Next up, what we can go ahead and do is add in another block of choice here, and then one, two, three block of choice off of the top of this slime block here. Then we want a piston right there, and if I missed this block in the last step, you can go ahead and add in uh, this block of choice right there. Uh, to this side if I missed it in the last step. If I didn't, then you're good to go, but it wasn't there. So knowing that, what we can do is come off of this piston now with two blocks of choice like so. Next up, we wanna wrap around uh, these two blocks of choice to the inside with one slime block here, one to the inside, and then two more just like that. Next up, we can actually go ahead and throw down a redstone block just like so, then coming back to the outside. We want a block of choice here, and then we want uh, two more block of choice out to the front like so, with a piston right there. Now, once you have all of this, you are looking at uh, this complete half of what we are going to add in. And then we will be out of the water, which is an awesome feeling. But yeah, once you have all of that, you guys, uh, you are ready to move forward. All right, now moving forward, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, continue what we started right here. Now, coming out of this piston, everything will be mirrored to that piston. So knowing this, what we're going to go ahead and do is come off of this piston with one block of choice. Then we're going to wrap around it with three slime blocks to the outside, just like so, with a redstone block right here. 
Now, once you have all of this, what we're going to go ahead and do is grab our blocks of choice again and place one right here with a piston in front of it. Next up, we're going to uh, add one, two, three, four block of choice to the top of this slime block. Next up, coming out from this piston, we want one, two block of choice, and then we want to wrap around those with our slime blocks. So four slime blocks total, redstone block right there. Now, once you have this, you can go ahead and add in one, two, three block of choice uh, to to this slime block like so. On the inside you can go ahead and add in a piston and then uh, coming out of that piston you can add uh, one slime block here, a slime block to the inside, then a redstone block right here just to curve around, then you want a block of choice right there and an upside down staircase just like so. Now once you have all of this we are ready to mirror it to the other side. So I will take you through that really fast. Uh, block of choice right here. Now as soon as you have this you can go ahead and wrap around it with three slime blocks, one redstone block to the back, then you want another block of choice to the front with a piston in front of that. On the top of this slime block you want one, two, three, four block of choice. Coming out from this piston you want one, two, block of choice uh, slime block here and then three more up the side for a total of four and then moving back to this direction you want to go ahead and add a redstone block to the back of this glob of slime blocks so once you have that you can go ahead and grab your uh, block of choice again and cover this slime block with three of them like so to the front then a piston moving forward just like so and then slime block out from that slime block towards the middle redstone block uh, towards the inside, just the same as that side. Then you can go ahead and grab a block of choice, add it to the top, and a, an upside down staircase right in front of that. So once you have all of that, we are ready to move out of the water, <laughs> which I am pretty happy about. So yeah, no more need for the helmet or the night vision, and you are ready to move forward. All right, so for the next step, what we're going to go ahead and do is drop all the way back to the back of the arc uh, to these slime blocks. And on top of that slime block, you want to place a sticky piston. Now, to the inside of that sticky piston, you want to go ahead and place a redstone block. Now, as soon as you have this redstone block, we're going to go ahead and make sure that everything uh, is moved along. So we're going to go ahead and add in two slime blocks, just like so. Uh, then we want to add... Uh, one, two, three, regular block of choice to the build, just like so, with a piston right here. Now, once you have uh, all of this, what we're going to go ahead and do is grab our brown concrete or whatever other block uh, that you chose. Uh, you can place that right there. Next up, you can go ahead and place a slime block right here to finish this entire piece. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. Now, next up, we can go ahead and grab uh, our pistons and we can drop back one block from right here with that piston. So it should look something like this. Now we're going to leave that piston alone for just a moment. We're going to grab our slime blocks. We're going to place one right there. Go back to our pistons. And we're going to place a piston on the bottom of that slime block, just like so. So it's facing this slime block. Now, after that, we're going to go ahead and grab our slime blocks again. And we're going to make this crazy pattern of slime blocks coming out of this one. Uh, four slime blocks total, just like so. Then we're going to grab our uh, block of choice. And we're going to place uh, two right there. And then we're going to place another two right here. And then another two right there with one in the middle. Now, as soon as you have all of that, we're going to come back to this piston right here. Coming out of the top of it, we want one, two, three, four slime blocks total. Next up, you can go ahead and place a piston on the top with a redstone block right there. Next, I'm going to go back to my brown concrete and I'm going to place two more coming out of this slime block so it is level with this block over here. So once you have all of that, what we're going to go ahead and do is come out from this piston with a slime block like so, one to uh, the outside, and then one down. Then we're going to grab our redstone blocks, we're going to place one right there, and then we're going to grab our uh, block of choice, and we're just going to place two, just like so, with a piston right there. Next we're going to go back to our brown concrete, we'll place one here, and then one right there. So once you have all of this, you should be looking at the full uh, next piece <laughs> installed into the arc. So uh, knowing that, we're going to go ahead and mirror it really quick. So coming out of this slime block here, you want a sticky piston. Then you want a redstone block towards the inside. After that, you want to go ahead and go back to your slime blocks, place two slime blocks coming up just like so. Then you can go ahead and place a brown concrete on the top. 
Now once you have that, you can go back to your uh, block of choice and place three of them coming out just like so with a piston right there. Now once you have all of this, uh, you want to go ahead and grab a slime block and place it right here. Grab a piston so you can drop back with it to this point. If I can get everything going, there we go. Piston should look just like that. We're going to leave it alone for just a moment, traveling over here to the sticky piston with a slime block here. We're going to grab our pistons though, and we're going to place one right on the bottom of that slime block, facing this slime block. So once you have that, uh, we're going to go back to our slime blocks and place uh, more, in, more of them in. <laughs> so they look just like this, four total, and they should touch uh, this block of choice. Now once we have this, what we can go ahead and do is add in block of choice here and here one here one right there and then two more right there so once you have all of that we can go back to this piston right here come off of it with one two three four slime blocks total piston on the top then uh, coming out of right here we want to go back to our brown concrete add in two more just so it looks like so redstone block to the back so we can move it and this whole entire piece later Coming out of the front of this piston, you want a floating slime block and then one to the, towards the outside of the machine and then one uh, face down. Then I'm going to grab my brown concrete and I'm going to place one there and then one right there so it mirrors the other side. Grab my block of choice so there's two just like so with the piston coming out of the front of the top block of choice. Then I'm going to go ahead and just grab a redstone block to place it right there and to finish up that entire step. So once you are looking at this overall uh, contraption in its entirety, you are ready to move forward. All right, so moving forward, what we're gonna go ahead and do is drop all the way back to these bottom pistons right here. So coming out uh, from both of these bottom pistons, we will mirror uh, everything done. So coming out from this one on this side, we're gonna go ahead and place one slime block like so, then we want one slime block to that side and one more on this side. Then we can go ahead and place one to the back, grabbing our uh, block of choice we can place one here another block of choice right there and then one two three block of choice coming out of the top of this slime block next up you want a brown concrete here with a piston coming out of the front and then a redstone block right there now that is that full piece so you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this and we did not place anything under water so yeah coming out from this piston you want one slime block here one to the inside of the machine then you want uh, two block of choice right there next up you want to go ahead and add one two uh, slime blocks to the top of this slime block here you want a piston right there and then you want to go ahead and back to your concrete and add in one two and three of them now as soon as you have this you can go ahead and come back this way and add in that redstone block now as soon as you have that what we can go ahead and do is come off of this piston here with a slime block there another slime block here block of choice here with a piston coming off the front of that block of choice next up we can go ahead and add in a slime block right here another block of choice right there and then another block of choice to the front of that one moving over to my brown concrete I'm gonna go ahead and throw those two in just like so now as soon as I have this I'm gonna go ahead and come all the way back to the back and add in <clears throat> excuse me a redstone block just like so now with all of that I'll go ahead and give you a quick pan around so you can see everything we're gonna go ahead and mirror it to the other side so coming out from this piston we want one slime block here one to the inside and then one to the outside with one behind the last one we placed next up a block of choice we want one here one there one two three block of choice to the top then we want a brown concrete here with a piston just like so now we can go ahead and come back here with a redstone block so as soon as we have all that that is that full piece then we're gonna go ahead and move to this piston here coming off of it we want one slime block here one towards the inside of the machine and then we want two block of choice just like this next up we can add in a piston right there and then we want one two more slime blocks above the slime block behind the piston Next, going over to the brown concrete, we want three of them coming out of that top slime block. Now, as soon as we have that, we can actually go ahead back this way and add in a redstone block right there. So moving forward, coming out of this piston, we want one slime block here, one to the outside, and then a block of choice here with a piston right there. 
next a slime block here so we can place two more block of choice just like so so you should have this overall shape so far when we go ahead and add in two more pieces of brown concrete just like this so it matches the other side and then a redstone block on the back of this slime block right there so as soon as you have all of that uh, mirrored up and it's looking real good and pretty on both sides you guys are uh, ready to move forward all right so uh, moving forward uh, this next piece we're going to be doing is going to look a lot like the last piece we did but with uh, slight differences so of course coming out from this piston here you want to go ahead and place one slime block like so then you want one coming out of the left side and one coming out of the right with one slime block behind it next up you want a block of choice here and then one there with only two block of choice coming out of the top of that middle slime block Next up, you want one brown concrete with a piston in front of it. Next up, you can go ahead and add a redstone block right there. So that will be that first uh, whole piece. Next up, moving forward, what we're gonna go ahead and do is come out of this piston with one slime block here, one this direction, and then one that way as well. But we're only gonna put uh, two block of choice outside uh, that way just like so and then you want two slime blocks coming up this way a piston here and then one two three concrete blocks right there next up once you have all this we got to make sure that we go ahead and place our redstone block right there so once you have this coming out of uh, this piston here you want a slime block here one slime block there then you want a block of choice here with a piston uh, coming out of the front of it next up you can add one slime block here with two more block of choice to conceal that piston further then you can add a brown concrete there and one more right here then you can go ahead and add in a redstone block right here to complete uh, all of that that whole piece that we just added in next up i'll go ahead and mirror it for you so what you want to go ahead and do is come over to this piston come out from it with one slime block here you want one to the outside one to the inside then you want another one coming backwards with a block of choice on the top block of choice in the front and then two more on the top of the middle slime block Next, you can add a brown piece of concrete here and then a piston in front of that with a redstone block right there. So once you have all of that, that is mirrored and ready to go. Next up, you can come off of this piston with one slime block here, one to the outside, and then one to the inside again. Then we can place two block of choice to the outside just like so. And then we want two more slime blocks straight up with the piston right there. Then we can go ahead and grab one, two, three brown concrete and placing them right there. We can grab a redstone block, place it right here. Then coming out from this piston, we want one slime block here with one to the outside. Then we want a block of choice, a piston, two more block of choice to conceal the piston, which these two block of choice will be pushed along by this slime block. Then after we have this, we can go ahead and grab our brown concrete, placing one there and one right there. Then we can grab a redstone block and place it right there. So once you have all of that, go ahead and give you a, a quick little wrap around here. Uh, you can, so you can go ahead and see everything we just added in. It's basically the same thing uh, as before, but just slightly different. But yeah, once you have all of that, you guys are ready to move forward. All right, so for the next step, what we're going to go ahead and do is come down to this piston here, and we're going to start uh, making something that looked a lot like the one that we just did. So slime block to the right, slime block to the left, slime block to the back right here, a uh, block of choice there, and a block of choice right there. So you should have this overall shape so far. Next up, you want two block of choice on the top, then you want a brown concrete here, with a piston to the front of that next up you can go ahead and throw down a redstone block to the back and that is that full piece now moving on uh, so where things start to get a little different uh, we have a slime block here slime block to the outside and then a slime block to uh, the inside of the machine next up what you want to go ahead and do is add in a block of choice right here a block of choice right there then a brown concrete here with a piston uh, coming out of the front of it next up we can go ahead and grab have our redstone blocks don't want to forget it and we'll go ahead and put it right there then coming out from this piston we want one slime block here two slime blocks towards the outside then we want a redstone block right here with a block of choice right there next up we can add in two more block of choice like so with a third one up top so you have this overall shape so far next up we're going to go ahead and grab our slime blocks and we're going to place just one random slime block right there 
and a, an upside down staircase right there. Now, of course, the reason we placed uh, this slime block, it has no actual purpose in the build except for the overall look of the machine. It'll make it look better at the end. So knowing that, we're gonna go ahead and do is mirror all of this that we just made. We're gonna go ahead and mirror it to the other side. So coming out from this piston, we can go ahead and add in a slime block here, one to the outside, one to the inside, and then we want another one over here to the outside. Block of choice up top, a block of choice right here. Then we want two more block of choice in front like so. Then we want a uh, brown concrete here, a piston in front of it, and then a redstone block all the way back here. So once you have all of this, go ahead and pan around for you. We are ready to move forward from this piston with a slime block out this way, uh, one towards the outside of the initial slime block and then one towards the inside. Next up, what we can go ahead and do is place a block of choice here and then another block of choice in the middle right there. Next, we can ground, grab our brown <laughs> uh, concrete and then we can place a piston in front of it. And then before we move on, go ahead and place a redstone block right there. So once we have this, we can go ahead and grab our slime blocks, come out one and then two from the initial one. Then we want a redstone block here with a block of choice uh, towards the outside. Then we want two block of choice towards the inside, third block of choice up there. So you have this overall shape so far. Next up, what we can go ahead and do is grab our slime blocks, place one right here, come down this way and then place an upside down staircase right there. So once you have all of that, you are looking at uh, the next step completed. So yeah, as you can see here, the, uh, the gas will go in one right here, one right there, and then one down there. But yeah, once you have all of that, you are ready to move forward. All right, so moving forward, what we're going to go ahead and do is come all the way to the back of the machine, to the very, very back, to where these uh, two redstone blocks are. Now we're going to be adding in the engine, so yes, and then in the next step, we will be testing the entire machine to make sure it moves forward before we ourselves move forward with the rest of the tutorial. So yeah, knowing that, uh, from these redstone blocks on the top, what I'm going to go ahead and do is place a piston on either side but what we want to go ahead and do is make sure that they are facing forward so just like so so you should have two pistons regular uh, sitting diagonal from the redstone blocks like so next up i can go ahead and grab my slime blocks and i want to come up two off of the top and then one forward on both sides just like so and then we want uh, one more slime block up in this kind of uh, style Next up, I'm going to go ahead and grab my sticky pistons, and we're going to go ahead and come off the front of both of the slime blocks with sticky pistons. Of course, again, those are sticky pistons, just uh, so you guys know. But yeah, uh, coming back from that, what we're going to go ahead and do is add in some pistons, just one black one block back diagonal from the slime block. Same with uh, this side over here. And as soon as I have done that, you will have this overall shape. Next up, we can go ahead and grab an immovable block of choice. We can place them right there in between those uh, little gaps. Next up, we can place a redstone block here and another redstone block there with a slime block there. And do the exact same thing on the other side. So yeah, once you have this, we can go ahead and place uh, two uh, blocks of choice, just like so, right here. So once you have this, we're going to go ahead and place a piston directly in between these two sticky pistons. So it should look like this, a, a point of reference so you can see. Uh, it should look exactly like this so far. Coming forward, we're going to want to have one slime block out, just like so. Then we want another slime block underneath it, just like so, with a sticky piston to the front. Next up, we can go ahead and add in an immovable block right here. So we can add in two redstone blocks to the bottom of what we just made. So overall, you should have this. So moving forward, what we're going to go ahead and do is grab our uh, block of choice and from this redstone block come out one, two, three, four block of choice. Then we want a slime block right here with a piston to both sides of the slime block. So once you have this, we're ready to move back to this slime block right here. We're going to go ahead and grab our gates, whatever you want to be the door in your captain's quarters uh, that's movable and can update the engine as it moves along. And I have chosen the 
spruce uh, gates. So knowing that, I'm going to go ahead and just place one right there and then crouch and place the next one on top of it. So you should have two right on top of each other, just like so. Now on this side, you want to go ahead and place one block of choice right here that you want to use for your engine. Now, I'm going to be using end stone for my engine. So that's what you have here. And I'm going to go ahead and place one slime block on the top of that. And then on this side, I'm going to go ahead and place another slime block right here to the side of this fence post with another slime block on top. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. I'm going to grab my sticky pistons and coming off of the front of it, we're going to go ahead and place a sticky piston backwards, just like so, and facing into the slime block. So of course, these are sticky pistons, just so you guys know. Now, moving forward from here, we want to go ahead and place uh, two end stone blocks on the top, just like so, and then I'm going to grab my pistons so we can complete these engines, uh, these caterpillar engines. I'm going to go ahead and place a piston here, and then I want another piston right here. So you should be looking at this uh, overall shape so far. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and grab some slime blocks and I'm going to place them on the outsides of the engines. Then I'm going to grab my immovable blocks and I'm going to place them into place. And then redstone blocks here on both sides of the uh, last slime blocks you guys placed. So yeah, as soon as you have all of this, I'm going to go ahead and grab my uh, white stained clay and I'm going to come white stained glass. Sorry, and I'm going to come off of the front of these sticky pistons with one, two, three glass each and a piston. Again, that's one, two, three glass and a piston. So once you have that, you are looking at half of the engine and we are almost done with it. I am just uh, kind of going along just to make sure I didn't forget anything either, which we didn't. So we're good to go. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and add in a uh, slime block on the top of both of these end stone blocks. Then I would like another sticky piston on the front of both of these slime blocks uh, facing into them. Again, they are sticky pistons, just so you guys can see. Next up, coming off of the back of the slime block, we want pistons facing uh, into them, but one block away, like so. Then once we have this, we can go ahead and place our redstone blocks on the top. And then of course, to uh, further prevent any mishaps, we're gonna go ahead and place in two immovable blocks like so. Next up, after this, we can go ahead and make sure you're looking at the direct side. So from this angle, I know I've been moving around a lot. Uh, you wanna be looking at this uh, from this side. You wanna come in and right here on this side slime block, you wanna place one, two block of choice with a piston on the front. Now, once you have this, you can go ahead and place a slime block on the opposite uh, sticky piston on the front there and then you can place another end stone or whatever engine block you'd like to use here to update the engine further and to keep it moving so with that being known we have one last little piece and we actually need our block of choice and we're gonna go ahead and place two of them one space away like so from this piston then we want to go ahead and grab a slime block and place it here and then three more up the side for four slime blocks total we want a redstone block here and then we want to grab a sticky piston and place it facing into this slime block. Again, that's a sticky piston. Then a redstone block right here will finish this entire piece. So yes, this entire step is now completed. The engine is complete, and for the next step, we will test it to make sure everything is in place. All right, so if you have followed the tutorial so far, block for block, and you are not missing any blocks, then your arc should work. So uh, to test that, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is come back over here, and all we're going to do is remove our immovable blocks, which uh, so far that's four, and then this one right here is five, and then we have six and seven. So yeah, seven immovable blocks total so far. And to start your machine, all you have to do is come up to this uh, backwards sticky piston with the redstone block diagonal from it. And as you can see, I've uh, taken out all the blocks that could be in its way potentially. So uh, knowing that, what we're going to go ahead and do is update this engine here. And then of course, to start it up, all we have to do is update it again. Everything seems to have a very good flow. The machine is still moving, so I would say it works, which is awesome for us. And now uh, to stop the machine, as soon as this piece moves forward one block, you can update it and it will stop. And, <clears throat> and it will stop, as you can see. So yeah, uh, knowing all of that, you can see that the arc works. And if yours doesn't work, uh, then all I 
uh, encourage you guys to do is go back into the to, to, into uh, your machine or the tutorial and just see what blocks you're missing see where your machine jammed see where it didn't move and then try to assess the situation the best that you can in order to fix the build uh, however you can uh, but other than that you guys uh, I've been going pretty slow so I'm pretty sure uh, everything up to this point should be pretty good and we are ready to move forward with the rest of the build all right so moving forward with the rest of the build what we're going to go ahead and do is come all the way down to uh, this piston here and that piston over there everything coming out of this piston will be mirrored to the other so yes of course knowing that what you want to go ahead and do is come out from that piston with one slime block like so and then two more to the inside like this next up we can actually go ahead and grab a redstone block and place it right here uh, right there so you can get a good look at it i'll go ahead and pan around really fast next up i'm going to go ahead and grab grab my uh, brown concrete and i'm going to place two in right here and then i want a block of choice right there and then a piston right there so once you have uh, all of this we're going to go ahead and move forward out of the front of this piston not with obsidian of course but with one slime block next up we want one slime block to this side and then one slime block down then on the bottom of that slime block we want a block of choice uh, two more block of choice in the front just like so one more right here with a redstone block right there next up we can grab our pistons we want one here and then one right there so we're going to be leaving this piston alone uh, for now and then next up what we're going to do is come out from this piston with one slime block then we want a redstone block on top block of choice to the side and then a block of choice right on the bottom with the piston coming out of that block of choice here so once you have all of this what we're going to do is come out from this piston right here with one slime block then we want a redstone block on top of it block of choice in the front two brown concrete and then one piston in the front of that so of course once you have all of that you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this next up moving uh, on from this piston we want one slime block here one slime block to the side and then one down and then on the bottom of that slime block we want one block of choice uh, two block of choice to the front one block of choice to the back on the lower part with a redstone block on the top of that next up we want a piston here and a piston there with one more block of choice to the top now of course this looks exactly like uh, this piece over here just without that block on top so of course uh, just so you guys know that is meant to be like this so of course last piece coming out from this piston here will be a slime block redstone block block of choice to the side block of choice to the bottom and a piston so once you have all this what we're going to go ahead and do is come over to the other piston on the other side and mirror it up so coming out from it we have a slime block two more slime blocks towards the inside then we're going to go to our brown concrete place them there then we want a block of choice here with a piston right there then we want a redstone block right here in the back so you should be looking at the exact same piece you have on the opposite side next up we're going to go ahead and grab our slime blocks come out from the front just like so then we want one slime block to the side one slime block down then we want a block of choice on the bottom of those two block of choice to the front one block of choice to the back bottom with a redstone block on top of that next up we can grab our pistons one there and one there then we're going to leave the bottom one alone just coming up to the top piston here one redstone on top uh, redstone block on top of the first initial slime block uh, one block of choice to the side and to the bottom next up we can place a piston coming out of uh, that block of choice then coming out of that piston we want a slime block redstone block on top block of choice to the front two brown concrete to the side with a piston to the front of that now coming off of this piston we want a floating slime block again one slime block to the side one down with one block of choice on the bottom two to the front one to the back uh, bottom of that slime block structure with a redstone block right here next up we can go ahead and add in a block of choice of course that being the different block of choice from the front it is meant to be that way then a piston here and a piston on the bottom and you are looking at that full piece next up we can go ahead and come off of the top piston leaving the bottom piston piston alone again redstone block on top of that block of choice to the side block of choice on the bottom and then a piston right there off this block of choice so you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this and if you are you guys then you are ready to move forward
All right, so next up, what we're going to go ahead and do is continue uh, the row of segments that we have started right here. Starting with this piston, we want to go ahead and just come off of it with one slime block, redstone block on the top, block of choice to the front, then we want brown concrete to uh, the inside, then a piston just like so. So that is it for that piece. Coming off of uh, the front of this piston, we want a slime block just kind of hanging out. Then we want one to the left and then one to the, the right, and then one slime slime block underneath it. Next up we can add in one, two, three, four, a uh, block of choice to the front, uh, one block, uh, <laughs> block of choice to the back, a redstone block to the top, and then once we have that we can come back around to the front and drop uh, down beneath this slime block we can add in one brown uh, concrete with a piston in front of it. Now once we have all that we can go ahead and grab our uh, slime blocks and we can come out one uh, slime block forward from that piston just like so. Uh, next up, what we want to go ahead and do is add a slime block down here so it's directly on the bottom. Redstone block on the back diagonal from the piston. Then we want another piston right here. Next up, we can go back to our slime blocks and add two more. So there's four total slime blocks like so. Next up, we can go ahead and add a piston to the top, so it looks like this with a piston to the side right there on that middle, uh, well, kind of top slime block. If the piston was added in, it'd be five blocks, it'd be the middle. You see what I mean. So <laughs> anyway, uh, moving forward, what we want to go ahead and do is go back to our slime blocks and add two uh, right there to the back and then coming out towards the outside of the arc. Next up, we can go to our blocks of choice. We can place one right behind the piston and then one right there. So once you have all of this, we can go ahead and uh, mirror it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is come off of this piston with a slime block, redstone block on the top, block of choice to the front, and then two brown concrete coming off the slime, slime block to the side. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and place down a piston right here, and then I'm going to come off of that with a slime block uh, to the front, and then one to the right, one to the left. I'm going to drop down below that with another slime block, and then I'm going to add four uh, block of choice to the front, uh, one to the back of that little area there with a redstone block right here. So once I've done this, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my brown concrete coming this way, add one to the bottom of that slime block with a piston in front of it. So you should be looking at this uh, overall shape so far, of course. I haven't done that uh, too much recently, but that's okay. Next up, uh, we have a slime block coming out just like so, and then we want one slime block underneath it. Then we can go ahead and add in that redstone block on the back uh, diagonal to that piston. Next up, we need another piston right there, and then we need uh, two more slime blocks to finish this row of four. Next up, we can go ahead and slam down another piston on the top of the segment that we have going with two slime blocks uh, towards the back of this top slime block, block of choice uh, right behind the piston, and then another block of choice right there. So once you have all of that, you are looking at uh, this whole segment uh, completed. So yeah, uh, we are ready to move forward again. All right, so next up, moving forward, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, come down to these bottom pistons here. Then we're going to come off of uh, both of them with a slime block each. Then we're going to go ahead and drop to the bottom and add uh, slime blocks to the bottom of them like so. Then you want a redstone block uh, on both sides, just like this. Next up, we can take a block of choice and uh, place them right in the middle there. And then we can take some upside down stairs and place them right there. So once you have this, you should be looking at uh, this. This overall shape so far. Then once you have that, what we'll go ahead and do is come up to this piston here, come out from it with one slime block, then you can add three more to it for a total of four. Next up, we can go ahead and just add in a redstone block there, and then we can go ahead and throw down uh, two more upside down staircase uh, at the end of this segment. Next up, we're going to go ahead and move up to these pistons here, and we want one slime block out uh, to the front and then one to the side. Next up we can go ahead and put a redstone block on it and then we can grab a uh, wood block of choice. Any other block is fine too. This is just going to be for the uh, like the railing section of the ship. So knowing that what we're going to go ahead and do is come out three of those blocks total from the side of this slime block. Then we want a slime block on the front of it with an upside down staircase just like so. Then of course just really quick we can actually go ahead and mirror it with a slime block here. Slime block to the side, redstone block to the back, and then we want to go ahead and add in that wood block of choice, three of those total 
uh, facing forward of course and then we have a slime block on the top with a sideways upside down staircase on the bottom of it next up we can go ahead and grab our pistons we want one here one right there one here and then one right there now as soon as we have this we're going to go to the inside pistons we're just going to come out with one slime block like so redstone block on top then we want a slime block in front of it and then one to the outside of it so we should be looking at this overall shape uh, so far Next up, what we can go ahead and do is add in a wood block to the back next to that redstone block, and then temporary block here, so we can go ahead and place this block in. And then we want two of those wood blocks facing forward, just like so. Then once we have that, we can go ahead over to this piston and mirror it. Slime block there, redstone block to the top, slime block to the front, and then one slime block to the outside over the top of that piston. Then once we have this, what we can go ahead and do is sling around to the back and go ahead and throw down a uh, wood block of choice again. Temporary block to the side so we can just get this wood block facing the right way. And then uh, of course we want just two of those. So once you have uh, done all of that, you should be looking at this over shape so far and once you have all of this done you are ready to move forward all right so moving forward what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, come over to these uh, pistons here and we're gonna come out from it with one slime block we want a redstone block on top then we want two uh, temporary blocks to the back that we can uh, break out just as long as we get this block uh, faced this direction. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and throw down a slime block here, slime block on top of it, and then one towards the inside of the machine. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and place a series of three temporary blocks and then remove them just so I can get this block like so. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and place a uh, slime block right here. Next up, I want a temporary block so I can place this block like so. And as soon as I do that, I can just go ahead and place a piston right there. So to mirror that coming out of this piston, you want one slime block coming out of it, redstone block like so, two temporary blocks to place this uh, wood block like so. You want a slime block right in front of it, slime block to the top, and then another slime block to the side of that. Then we're going to go ahead and place down three temporary blocks like this so we can get this one wooden block looking nice and snazzy. So after that, we're going to go ahead and just place a slime block here in that whole piece should be completed now I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little quick pan around of this little piece that we added in it's not too much but yeah once you have all of that coming out from this piston you want one slime block here and then a slime block to both sides then to make it uh, symmetrical with the redstone block we're gonna go ahead and add two to the back so once we have that, we're going to go ahead and add in uh, two more temporary blocks so we can get this wood block facing this direction. And we want two of those in a row, just like so, coming off the top of this middle slime block. Next up, we want one slime block here with a uh, another temporary block so we can get this wood block on there. Two more in front of it for a total of three. And then we want a upside down stairs right there. So once you have all of this, uh, you are looking at that whole completed piece and you are ready to move forward. All right, so next up, what we're gonna go ahead and do is drop all the way back to the back of the machine. And in doing such, what we're gonna go ahead and do is come down uh, to these redstone blocks here. With our sticky pistons, we wanna go ahead and uh, put down two underneath these redstone blocks so they extend. Next up, uh, coming out from both of them, we want two slime blocks like so, which these sticky pistons, of course, will pull uh, these pieces forward. Then we want two uh, slime blocks straight up off of each of those pieces like so. Next up, we're going to take our white stained glass or any glass uh, of choice at all, and you can go ahead and put those three right in the middle, just like so. Next up, we're going to go ahead and place down two temporary blocks so we can place this block uh, in like so, so it looks like this overall. Next up, we're going to go ahead and place in two more temporary blocks on the other side so we can go ahead and do the same exact thing. Now, with that being known, we're going to go ahead and come over to this side first and we're going to put down a piston. And then we're going to go ahead and come over to this side second and place a piston. Uh, why I wanted to do this side second is because we will be starting with this side. So uh, this piston will be push pushing this sticky piston forward. So what we want to go ahead and do is have uh, two slime blocks coming out like so. Uh, so the second slime block touches the top of this uh, block here. Then you want a redstone block to the back of it. Then you want a slime block up top. Next up, you want a block of choice right here. Then one, two, three, four more blocks of choice, just like so. So that piston uh, should come underneath this block of choice. Now, once you have that, 
right, what we can go ahead and do is come out uh, with the slime block here. Another slime block towards the outside of the machine, redstone block. Next up, we can go ahead and grab our block of choice again. Come to right there so we can add in a block of choice. And then all the way to the end, just like so. So that's three block of choice uh, on the bottom of this slime block. Next up, you want a slime block here with a piston uh, right here, just like so. Next up, you can add in another block of choice to the top, just like that. Now, moving forward, we're going to go ahead and come off of this piston with a slime block here, slime block there, and then a slime block up top, and a actual quick fix for this uh, little bottom area. There's actually supposed to be another slime block coming out, and uh, two blocks this far out, and of course we will change the other side uh, when we mirror it. So, knowing that, uh, you can actually go ahead and throw in another block of choice here with two more in front of it, so three total. One right there, and then you can come around this way, throw in one right here with a redstone block right there. So once you have all of this, we can actually start uh, coming out of this piston here. So coming out of that piston, you want uh, two slime blocks like so with a redstone block to the side. Next up, you want to take your uh, block of choice and add in two to the bottom right here, and then a third one right there. Next up, we can continue uh, that bottom row all the way out to the end right here. Then we can go ahead and place a slime block there. A block of choice to the top of the slime block and then a piston to the side of that. Next up, coming out of that, we want uh, one slime block floating uh, out of this piston here. Then we want a slime block to the side and then one to the top so you have this overall pattern. Next up, we can go ahead and place a redstone block here, block of choice to the uh, top of it. Next up, we can actually place a block of choice on the bottom and then two more for three total. Then a block of choice right there. So once you have that, we're actually going to move on to this piston. Uh, coming forward with one slime block, we're going to put uh, one slime block to the side and then a redstone block to the back, just like so. Then with our blocks of choice, we're going to come out one, two, three, four, five uh, on that bottom there, all the way to the end. Then we want another block of choice right here. Now we can go all the way back to that end block that we just placed, place a slime block coming off of it, block of choice to the top, and then a piston to the side of that. Now, once we have that, we can actually go ahead and kind of change up what we're doing just a little bit. We need a slime block here, slime block to the top, and then one in this uh, kind of same angle. Next up, what we want uh, to do is just add two block of choice to the bottom of this uh, little segment that we just added. Next up, we can go ahead and add a block of choice to the top with a redstone block right there. Now we're going to go back to our block of choice. We're going to add two coming out of that uh, middle slime block right there, and then one block of choice on the top one so a piston uh, can fit right there. Now, of course, that is the entire uh, segmented side of the arc, so of course, uh, with that being known, what we're going to go ahead and do is now mirror all of that to the other side. So coming off of this piston here, we want to come out two slime blocks like so, and then a redstone block just right there. Next up, we can come up an additional slime block right here with a block of choice to the back, and then one, two, three, four more block of choice to the front. Next up, we want a piston right underneath this block of choice like so. Then we're going to come out from it with a slime block here, slime block to the outside, redstone block right there. Next up, we're going to drop to the bottom this slime block and place in one, two, three block of choice, then a slime block on the end of it, block of choice on the top of that slime block, and then a piston to the side. After that, we're going to go ahead and come off of that piston with a slime block here, slime block on the top, and then slime block to uh, the other side. Now here is that simple fix again. Take out those two blocks, just add in one slime block, sorry about that, and then two more of uh, your regular block out. So now it's one block out and it should line up with the bottom of uh, this slime block here like so. So then you want to add in one, two, and then three uh, block of choice like so, one on the top. Then we can go ahead and come to the back, add one to the top there, and then a redstone block to that side slime block. After that, we're going to go ahead and head over to this piston, coming off of it with one slime block uh, to the front and then one slime block to the side, redstone block to the back, and then once we have this, we're going to go ahead and go over to our block of choice, and then add in one, two, three, four, five block of choice there, and then one right there. Then we're going to go back out to the end uh, of what we just placed, add a slime block here, block of choice to the top, and then a piston to the side. Next up, uh, we're going to go ahead and keep this pattern going with a slime block here, slime block to the top, and then one slime block down to the side again. Then we want one, two, three block of choice coming out from the bottom of this slime block. Then we just want one block of choice there, one block of choice to the back, and then a redstone block right there. Then moving forward again, we want to start from this piston. We want one slime block coming out, one slime block to the side of that, and a redstone 
stone block to the back. Next up we want one, two, three, four, five block of choice coming out from underneath this slime block. And then we want one block of choice in front of it there. Next up we want a slime block down here with a block of choice on top of it and a piston to the side. Now for the last little step here all we have to do is come out with one slime block like so. And then we need one slime block out to the side redstone block here, slime block right there, then we need another block of choice right here, and then we need uh, off the bottom of this one we need two block of choice, and then we need another two block of choice here with one right there, and a piston. So you should be looking at this overall shape on that last uh, that last one so far. Uh, it was kind of quick, I understand if it could be uh, a little fast for you, but yeah, uh, if you need to just go ahead and back up a little bit and uh, kind of go over what we have, but this should all be good to go and you guys should be ready to move forward. All right, so moving forward, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, come down to the last uh, pistons that we placed, this one here and then that one way over there. What we're going to go ahead and do is come out from it with a slime block like so. Then we want one slime block towards the inside and then one slime block towards the bottom of that one. Next up, we're going to go ahead and come up two more slime blocks like so. And then we're going to come around to the back. We're going to go ahead and place a redstone block here and then two uh, block of choice just like so. And then two more block of choice on the inside just like that. Next up we're going to go ahead and just add a piston uh, to that bottom block of choice like this. Next up we can come out with one slime block like so, one slime block towards the inside, and then two on top of that with one right there. So five slime blocks total. Next up we're going to go ahead and just place a piston right there. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to go ahead and place a redstone block here with a block of choice right there. Then after that, what we can go ahead and do is grab our slime blocks. Coming off of this piston, you want a slime block hanging in the open. Then two more above it, so there's three total. Next up, you can go ahead and just place down a redstone block on the top. Next up, we want to go ahead and place down two temporary blocks that we can get rid of just to place this block on this middle slime block uh, like so. Next up, we want a slime block in front of it. Then we want a uh, upside down staircase in front of that. Next up, we can place down one block of a uh, temporary block, of course, and then just to get this block like that, and then we want two there total. So then once you have that, we can go ahead and just place a slime block here. Then you want a temporary block, regular block, and then uh, upside down staircase. And then just don't forget to break your temporary block. So once you have all of that, what we can go ahead and do is come down to this piston so we can mirror up what we don't have on this side. So coming out of that piston, we want a slime block just like so, slime block towards the inside, and then a slime block on the bottom. Next up, we can add two more slime blocks, so you have five slime blocks total on this side now. Next up, we're going to switch to a redstone block, place it there, then we want two block of choice going up just like so, and then two more block of choice right here. Next, we can add in a piston right here, which will push uh, this next segment we'll add in, starting with this slime block right here. On the inside, we want another slime block and then two more on top with one more on top of that. Then on the real close inside, we want another piston right here. Coming back to the back uh, side real quick, we want a redstone block here with a block of choice on the uh, diagonal from that redstone block. Next up, we're going to come out from this piston with a slime block here, another on top, and then a third one to end it off. And then, of course, uh, to end up this little step, all we have to do is just place a redstone block right there. And now it should be uh, perfectly mirrored to both sides and ready to go. Now, once you are looking at all of this, you are ready to move forward once again. All right, it is that time again. We are going to be testing the machine to make sure it moves forward. Of course, I moved all the blocks out of the front of the machine, out of the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next up, what we're going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and remove our uh, immovable blocks. So far, I'm at five, and then here is six and seven. Now, once I have done this, what I'm going to go ahead and do is come over here, update this once so it moves back, and of course, fingers crossed, we're going to go ahead and update it a second time. And yeah, everything is still moving forward and it looks really good. Nothing has fallen back, so that's good to know. So all we got to do is wait for this to move forward one block and update it. Boom, there you have it. The arc is moving and it is ready to go. So cool, just wanted to make sure that it was all working. So just in case uh, 
we had something missing or something was messed up that you guys could go ahead and just find out what it was that was messed up find out what was missing and you guys could fix it real quick without having uh, any sort of issues further on down the road so yeah got that out of the way all right so moving forward what we're going to go ahead and do is add in the rest of the deck to the boat so what we're going to do is start off right here at this piston we're going to come out one slime block like so and then we want two more to the outside like this redstone block on that middle uh, slime block diagonal to the piston next up we want one two three four more slime blocks coming out of this one so five total then you want a slime block here and then a piston right there and then you want a piston here and one piston there so this is going to be the only piston that we're going to be worried about uh, right now so knowing that coming forward off of it you want one slime block here then you want one slime block to the bottom redstone block just behind that slime block just like so next up you can actually go ahead and add a uh, block of choice to the top block of choice to the side and then a staircase right here just like so so that's what all of this should look like so far just a slow pan around of this uh, piece right here and this little piece right here next up we're going to go ahead to the bottom of this slime block we're going to add in three uh, block of choice and then we want three more block of choice here with a piston in. But real quick, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, mirror everything coming out of this piston. So you want a slime block here, two more to the outside, redstone block in the uh, on the back of the middle slime block diagonal to the piston. Then you want one, two, three, four more slime blocks coming out of this slime blocks uh, slime block for a total of five. Then you want one right there with a piston right here, a piston here, and then a piston right there. Now coming off of this piston, being the only one that we're worried about right now, we want a slime block coming out just like so and then we want a slime block just underneath it with a redstone block right there now once we have that and I can get out this way you can see that I placed in these blocks right here next we want a block of choice to the top block of choice to the side then we want a quartz stair uh, right here and then we want three blocks one two three uh, coming out from right there next up we're gonna go ahead and uh, take our slime blocks coming out from this piston here and we want one slime block on the bottom of that first one and then one to each side of the bottom slime block next we can take our uh, blocks of choice we can add one here add one there add one here and then a piston there piston here and we're going to go ahead and drop around to the back add in block of choice to both sides right there and then a redstone block in the middle for this piston so once we have that what we're going to go ahead and do is come off of these pistons <clears throat> with these slime blocks just like so then we're going to add redstone blocks to the top of them and we want uh, one block of choice here we want one block of choice here we want one two three block of choice in the middle one block of choice here and then another block of choice there and actually we can actually add in uh, all these are blocks of choice besides this one next up what we want to go ahead and do is add in a piston right here coming off of that piston we want a slime block just like so but we want to drop to the bottom add in another slime block and then a redstone block right there so you should be looking at this overall so far with this big piece looking as it does going into this piece now next up what we're going to go ahead and do is grab our blocks of choice we're going to come forward uh, two blocks then we're going to come forward two blocks again and then another two blocks like so next up we want pistons uh, right here just like this and then coming off of those pistons we want a slime block one a piece redstone block on top of it then we want one two three blocks here one block uh, actually two blocks here then we want one two blocks here two blocks here and then one two three blocks to the side next up we're just going to go ahead and throw down a slime block here <clears throat> excuse me and a piston on the top of it coming off the piston we want a slime block here a slime block to both sides of the initial slime block and then redstone blocks diagonal to this piston uh, and of course two for symmetry reasons Next up, and lastly, we're just going to go ahead and add in one, two, three regular block of choice. And once you have done that, you are looking at the completed deck of the arc, and you are ready to move forward. All right, so moving forward, uh, just a quick note. All the blocks that we will be placing from uh, here on out are going to start to get very, very packed, jammed and close together. So... Uh, paying attention is key here uh, we're gonna have to 
start placing blocks, temporary blocks around other blocks, having to go back around to break blocks. It's just going to get hectic from here on out. So uh, that pause button is really going to come in handy uh, <laughs> knowing that. What we're going to go ahead and do is drop all the way back uh, over here to this piston. We're going to come out from it with one slime block like so, one slime block to the bottom, redstone block right there. Next up, we need a temporary block right here so we can place this block. Now, this block being our first, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Next up, we want a slime block uh, in front of that seventh block and then a piston on the side of the slime block. Now, coming out from that piston, you want a slime block here, slime block underneath that, and then a redstone block uh, right behind that slime block. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and add in one temporary block so we can put this block here, and then we're gonna count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So your seventh block should come up to this slime block. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, uh, that is all for this little piece right here. But next up, we're going to go ahead and come up to this piston. We're going to come out from it with one block of wood, and then we want to surround it with three slime blocks uh, to the outside. Next up, we can go ahead and throw down a redstone block here with a sticky piston extended off of the top of it. Now we will come back to that sticky piston later. So we want a piston here, and then after we do that, we can add in a temporary block underneath the redstone block, and then we want two of your wood blocks there. Then make sure to get rid of that temporary block. Next up, we're going to go ahead and move up to the top uh, to this piston. We want one slime block here. We want to drop one slime block below it, and then a redstone block uh, to the back. Now, once we have that, we can actually go and uh, grab our wood blocks again in the temporary block. Make sure to remove it. We just want this block here, uh, or else this whole piece won't move forward. So yeah, knowing that uh, coming off the front of this slime block, we need one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks total with a piston on the front and once you have all of that that is all that we're going to do uh, for this step on this side now we're going to go ahead and mirror it up really fast so you want to come out to this outside piston come off of it with uh, a slime block slime block to the bottom redstone block to the back next up we're going to go ahead and swing around this direction coming in this way we want a temporary block uh, and then this block make sure to destroy the temporary block because we just want this one so this being our first block we want one two three four five six seven so it comes uh, right up flush with this block here next up what you want to go ahead and do is add in a slime block to the front of that seventh block and then a piston to the side coming out of the front of that piston you want a slime block here one slime block down redstone block here then coming back up to the top, just moving slow so you guys can see everything, you want a temporary block and then remove it just so you can get a block looking uh, like this. Now coming out of this block, this being our first, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it should come up to this slime block. Now that is all you will do for this piece here, but we're going to move back to this piston up top come out from uh, it with one log. Next up, you wanna go ahead and add in two slime blocks off the front and then a third one out to the side with a redstone block here. Sticky piston uh, extending backwards off of the top of it. Of course, we will be back to that later. Next, you can place a piston right here on the outside uh, slime block. Next, you can go ahead and place in a temporary block here and then two blocks in front of it just so they're faced that direction and then of course, make sure to remove the temporary block or it could mess up the entire machine. But yes, moving forward, coming out of this piston, you want a slime block like so. Another slime block down here and then a redstone block here. Now, coming back around to the front, we're going to go ahead and lay down a temporary block and then remove it just so we can get uh, this block to be faced that direction. Now, coming out uh, from this slime block, we want one, two, three, four, five, six block of choice and then a piston. Then, once you have all of this, you guys, once we have that half, I guess, that half of the railing, uh, you are ready to move forward. All right, moving forward once again, what we're going to go ahead and do is drop down uh, to these last 
uh, pistons that we placed this one and that one over there coming off of this one we want a slime block uh, just like so then we want a slime block to the side and then we want a redstone block to the back of it and then a slime block to the front so you have this overall shape so far next up we're going to go ahead and add in a piston to the bottom of uh, that last slime block we just placed next up we can add in one two three uh, block of choice the wood railing block next up we can add in a slime block here and then temporary block just so we can place this block like so and then one more in front of that for a total of two right here with a piston in front of that next up we're going to go ahead and drop down to this lower piston we're going to come out from it with a slime block here one down low and then a redstone block right there next up we're going to swing in to the inside this way and we're going to place a uh, block here and then uh, we're going to remove those two temporary blocks all we need is this block here facing this direction next up this being our first block we're going to count one two three four five six seven and eight so this whole line should be diagonal to this slime block and that is all for that uh, coming up to this piston here what we want to go ahead and do is come out one slime block one block of choice another slime block then we can place a piston on the inside uh, on top of this block here next up we can add in a temporary block and then place this block in front of it this is the one we want then three more blocks for a uh, total of four right here next up we're going to go ahead and come into this piston come off of it with one slime block redstone block so it looks exactly like this so far next we want two temporary blocks uh, just like so so we can get this block right here next to this slime block uh, facing this direction next you can place two more of this block uh, just like so then you want a slime block here then you want to go ahead and throw in a temporary block uh, just to put this block destroy the temporary block don't forget next up you can add in uh, three more blocks all the way up to this corner for a total of four off the top of that slime block now once you have that uh, that is the completed rail for this side now all we have to go ahead and do is add that in on the other side so of course uh, knowing all that what we're going to go ahead and do is locate this piston I couldn't find it for a second and we're going to come off of it with one slime block like so next up we want a slime block uh, to the side and one to the front redstone block to the back just like so so you get this kind of a four block pattern next we want a piston on the bottom of that slime block then we want one two three uh, wood block of choice right here slime block on the end of it then we want a temporary block so we can remove it just so we can get this face in this direction one more so there's two total right there and then a piston on the front of it next up we're going to drop down to this piston we're going to add a slime block here slime block to the bottom and then a redstone block to the back of that uh, slime block structure next up we're going to go ahead and uh, come off with two temporary blocks right there we make sure to get rid of them right away just so we can have this block facing uh, this direction off this slime block now this being our first block we're going to count one two three four five six seven eight so it is diagonal with this slime block next up we're going to go ahead and come back up to this piston we're going to come off of it with one slime block like so and we're going to come out with another slime block like so and then a redstone block there next up we can add in a block of choice just like this slime block in front of it and then we want a piston to the inside then we want a temporary block and so we can place this block just like so now this being our first block we want one two three four blocks total right there now next up we're going to come off of this piston with a slime block here redstone block just like that i'm going to go ahead and pan around so you can see what that looks like so far next up you want to go ahead and add in two temporary blocks uh, just like so so you can put this block in next we can add two blocks to the front of what we were just working on uh, just like that slime block right here and then you can go ahead and add in a temporary block remove it right away so you can get this block here next uh, this being our first block we want to count one two three and four now once you have done that you have completed the entire side railing piece of the arc and you are ready to move forward all right so moving forward what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, make our way all the way to the back of the machine uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is locate this redstone block right here 
So again, uh, this is the piece that we just kind of put in, and then here is the redstone block. Now, this redstone block here will have a sticky piston coming off of it just like so, and of course that is the back of the machine. Then we want to come back one, two, three, four slime blocks just like so. Then we want two block of choice on the top with a redstone block here, and then we want one block of choice on the bottom right there with an upside down staircase right here. Next we want a temporary block just so we can place uh, this uh, wooden block right here so it looks like this with it pointing face up. And then uh, once we have that, we can go ahead and grab our pistons. Coming back this direction, we need a piston right here, <coughs> excuse me, with uh, facing into a slime block so it'll push this sticky piston forward. We need a slime block on the bottom and then a redstone block just right there. Next up, uh, coming to the front of these slime blocks before I forget, we need two uh, block of choice down here and then one up top. Now, next up, we're going to go ahead and switch over to our sticky pistons and place one coming off of this redstone block just like so slime block right here and then we want to go ahead and come over one slime block that way and then one slime block this way next up on this end slime block we need a piston so you should be looking at uh, this overall piece so far next up uh, coming off of this piston from the front we want uh, three slime blocks just like so the piston will be facing the center slime block need a redstone block right there then once we have all of this we can actually go ahead coming back around to the front and coming off of this slime block we can place one two three four block of choice now, once we have those uh, four block of choice right there, we can place another one right here. Then we need a uh, stained glass of choice right here, uh, another wood block of choice there, here, and right there, leaving this middle slime block open. Next up, we can actually go ahead, drop down, and then add in two uh, upside down staircase right there. So you should be looking at this overall piece so far. We added in uh, this whole section right here, plus this piston and these little pieces to the side. Uh, this sticky piston back here, which is pulling all of this along with this piston pulling or pushing all of this forward. Now, once you have all of that, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, mirror it up to the other side. So, coming over to this redstone block, we're going to grab our sticky pistons, place one there uh, against this wood so, of course, it extends backwards. Uh, next up, we're going to add in one, two, three, four slime blocks, just like so. Then we want to add in two uh, block of choice to the top with the redstone block right there. Next up, we're going to go ahead and just add in a block of choice here with an upside down staircase right here. Now, after we have this, we're going to come back this way so we can add in our piston facing forward again into this slime block and then one slime block down, redstone block right there. Now, you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. I know it's kind of complicated to see, so that's why I'm kind of trying to slow down. Now, before I forget, again, we need uh, two block of choice here with one on the top of these uh, slime blocks that you just placed. Next up, we're going to drop all the way back to this redstone block, and then we're going to make a uh, sticky piston come off of it and extend it just like so. Next, we need uh, one slime block here, one slime block against this block that you placed earlier, and then one right there. Now, coming off the end, of this slime block we need one piston just like so which will be facing into three slime blocks and the primary one that will be facing into is the middle slime block now once you have that you can go ahead and place a redstone block right here then a block of choice right there then a stained glass uh, block right here then you want a uh, a block of choice here and then one right there a wood block of choice of course next up we can drop to the bottom of it and we can place in our uh, two upside down staircase just like so to finish off that kind of hole that little area next up we're going to go ahead and grab a block of choice coming off of this slime block here we want one two three four block of choice now once you have all of that you are looking at this uh, completed back section up until this point and once you have that, you are ready to move forward. All right, moving forward, what we're going to go ahead and do is come all the way back to the back of the machine again to this sticky piston that we placed earlier and uh, just kind of left it there extended. So yeah, 
uh, coming out from that piston you want one slime block here and then you want a slime block to the top next up you want to go ahead and place one two three slime blocks on the inside of this slime block uh, moving forward so you should have this overall shape so far go ahead and place a redstone block here and then you can place a block of choice there and then one directly in front of it and then stairs uh, here and then another court stairs right there and that should be this uh, full little segment right here plus a piston right there now this piston will be pushing forward uh, this little bit of slime blocks with this redstone block right there so uh, just of course don't make sure uh, don't <laughs> Don't forget the redstone block. There we go. Anywho, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is drop back to this redstone block we just placed a moment ago. Coming back from it with a sticky piston just like so, we want to add uh, one slime block here, one slime block to the bottom, and then two back so you have this overall shape so far. Next up, we're going to go ahead and add in a piston right here. Then we want uh, two slime blocks coming out like so with a redstone block right here. So you have this overall shape so far. Uh, next up, we're going to go ahead and add in one two and three block of choice to the bottom of those three slime blocks uh, that we have here next up we want a redstone block here and then a redstone block right there and then sticky pistons uh, extended off of the top of both of those redstone blocks then once you have this uh, that is actually that full piece and we will go ahead and mirror it up to the other side so coming out from this sticky piston here we want one slime block there one to the top and then we're going to go ahead and turn around then we want one, two, three slime blocks coming out of the uh, side of this slime block there. Next up, what we're going to go ahead and do is add in a block of choice here, block of choice there, and then, of course, our uh, two stairs, just like so. So, of course, it is even with the other side. Now, knowing this, what we're going to go ahead and do is drop back this way, place a redstone block here, and then we need to place a piston here facing forward so we can push uh, this sticky piston forward when it, in fact, uh, does retract. So, uh, with these pieces, two slime blocks and a redstone block, uh, to accompany this piston what we can go ahead and do is draw back to this redstone block place that sticky piston so it extends backwards go ahead and place uh, one slime block right here next up uh, making sure that it's all even over here what we can go ahead and do is drop back uh, drop down sorry one slime block just like so and then two more just like this so you have this overall shape so far next up we want a piston here with two slime blocks jutting out and then a redstone block there to accompany this piston next up we want a redstone block here and then a redstone block right there then we want three block of choice on the bottom of these three slime blocks and then of course we can end this step with two sticky pistons uh, extended outwards from the top of both of those redstone blocks so once you have all of that you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this of course we are moving along we are nearing uh, the end of the captain's quarters and then after that we will be in the home stretch for just the sails because the sails are nothing but pistons pushing forward and it's very easy but yeah with all that being known you guys are ready to move forward all right moving forward again what we're going to go ahead and do is drop back all the way to the back of the machine again which we will be staying back here <laughs> this time for the duration of uh, the entire captain's quarters and whatnot so of course knowing that what we're going to go ahead and do is locate this uh, bottom left sticky piston that we're looking at currently and then we're going to come out one two slime blocks from it then we want another slime block uh, straight down off the last one then we want two more slime blocks like so then a slime block here we can go ahead and drop down again for another slime block just like so next up we can place a block of choice uh, right here just so it looks like that so you should be looking at this overall shape so far next up what we're gonna go ahead and do is add in a piston right here and then we need another piston up top right there then we can add two slime blocks right here with a redstone block in just like that now behind this piston we want to go ahead and just uh, throw in some quartz stairs uh, after we have that we can go ahead and come out from this piston with one slime block like so and then a redstone block here so at this point what we're gonna go ahead and do is come over to this sticky piston and and mirror it up so coming back two slime blocks and then we want one down two more back so you have five slime blocks in this pattern and you want one slime block here and then one slime block right here 
So once you have that, you can go ahead and throw in a piston right here. Then you need another piston up top with two slime blocks here and a redstone block just right there. Then, of course, after you've done that, you can go ahead and add in uh, quartz stairs right there. Now, uh, looking at the top of this piston, you can go ahead and add in a uh, face up block just like so. And you should be looking at this overall shape so far. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is come off of this piston just like the other side with a slime block and then a redstone block. Then we're going to place a uh, two block of choice like so and with one in the middle and then we're going to carry that one all the way up to this point. Now once you have uh, done that, what we're going to go ahead and do is whip out those quartz stairs again. We're going to place one here and then we're going to place one uh, right there just like so. Now once you have done all of that, what we're going to go ahead and do is drop back to right here, grab our sticky pistons. Uh, Place one in between those two redstone blocks so it extends and then come back two more slime blocks from that sticky piston. Then you want one slime block down and then one upside down staircase uh, underneath that bottom slime block. Next up you can come up two more slime blocks just like so and grab our white stained glass. Uh, add three to each side so it is all flush with the top uh, slime block. And then on that time, top slime block you want to go ahead and just add in a... Uh, glass as well. Next up, coming all the way around, you want a piston uh, in the front. So this is this overall piece uh, so far. Uh, just go ahead and give you a little pan around. So now coming out of this piston uh, right here on the top of this sticky piston, you want to come up three slime blocks with a redstone block on the top. Obviously this redstone block will update this piston when it moves forward. So uh, with that being known, what we're going to go ahead and do is draw back and place two sticky pistons coming off of this redstone block here. Next up we can go ahead and do is add in one, two, three, and four slime blocks to each uh, face of the sticky piston uh, moving outwards. So one, two, three, and four again. Next up we can go ahead and do is grab our white uh, glass, place one here, and then we can place one there, and then on the middle two slime blocks of those four. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. Next up we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, wood, and then we're going to place them coming out just like so. So it should look exactly like this so far. Next up we're going to come around to uh, the front this way and add in a piston here, piston there, here, and then one more on the end there. Next up we can add in two block of choice coming off of this slime block like so. Then once you have done all of that, you guys, you are ready to move forward. All right, so moving forward again, what we're going to go ahead and do is drop uh, down to this sticky piston, the other sticky piston, the higher one that is extended. Next up, we want to go ahead and drop back one, two, three, four, five slime blocks with that sticky piston, just like so. Next up, what we can go ahead and do is we can add a redstone block to the bottom right here. Then once we have that, we can go ahead and move to the inside, add in two uh, block of choice just right here. Then we're going to go ahead and slowly turn around so you guys see where I am and add in a quartz stairs uh, going this way now. So you should be looking at this overall shape uh, so far. Next up, we're going to go ahead and grab a piston, place it right there. Then we need two slime blocks right there with a redstone block right there. Now, once we have this, we can go ahead and add in three uh, block of choice, just like so. Now, that is this uh, full piece right here. So what we can go ahead and do is drop down this way, add in a sticky piston right here so it extends, one slime block there, one to the top of it, and then two more uh, to fill in that spot just like this. Now, of course, this is really hard to see. So we just added in four uh, slime blocks so far off of this sticky piston, one, two, three, four. Next up on that middle slime block right here, we want an upside down staircase. Then once we do that, we can actually go ahead and come over here. We need a piston there, and then we need a uh, wooden block on top of it facing up. Then once you have this, what we can go ahead and do is have a uh, slime block coming off of the sticky piston, slime block uh, down from that, and then a redstone block coming out of the back of this slime block. Next up, what we can go ahead and do is uh, grab our wooden blocks. We can add two in down here. Then we want three right here, and then we want two so far. Remove the temporary one so we can place this one so they're all 
uh, move the same direction. So yeah, once you have this, that is that full little segmented piece. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is come over to the other side and mirror it up. So knowing that, we're gonna go ahead and come up to this sticky piston, drop back one, two, three, four, five slime blocks. Then we need a redstone block here. Then we need to come around this way. So we can place two more block of choice right here. Then we gotta turn around just like so. Place in uh, court stairs moving that direction. And that is that uh, piece so far with a piston here. Next up, we can go ahead and add in two slime blocks just like so with a redstone block uh, right here, not out here, right there. So that would be perfect for that. And then we can go ahead and uh, put these three blocks of choice over this top slime block. Now, next up, we're going to go ahead and uh, fall down this direction. And what we're going to go ahead and do is place a sticky piston coming out of the bottom of this redstone block. Next up, we need a slime block here, slime block there, one here, and then one right there, just like the other side. We just placed four slime blocks coming out of this sticky piston so far, and that is all. Next up, we need upside, upside down staircase right there. And then after that, we're going to swing around this way. We need a piston here with a wooden block right there facing up just how it is. Next, after we have that, we're going to go ahead and place a slime block here, one slime block down from that, and then a redstone block. After that, we're going to go ahead and place two wooden blocks on the bottom, slime block coming out of the front, then we need three wooden blocks coming out uh, just like so. Temporary blocks, so we can place these two blocks, we're going to get rid of the temporary and then replace it with a block that is facing the same direction as the other ones. So yeah, once you have uh, reached this position, uh, go ahead and look over your machine to make sure that all the blocks are there. And once you have done that, you are ready to move forward. All right, so moving forward, what we're gonna go ahead and do is come over to this piston here. And we're gonna go ahead and come out from it with one slime block like this, another slime block here, redstone block to the back of it. Then we want a temporary block there for just a moment so we can get uh, this block facing this direction. Then you want two more for a total of three out of the top. Then you want two here, and then you want a temporary block here here <laughs> to go ahead and uh, get this block looking that direction so you can have uh, this whole plate of blocks looking as it does. So uh, of course moving forward we have a piston here and then we want to go ahead and place a slime block here. Uh, two more slime blocks towards the inside with just a uh, regular block of choice here, piston right there. Next up we want a redstone block on this side. We can go ahead and add in uh, stairs just like so. Then once you have this, swinging all the way back around to the outside again, we want a slime block here and then a block of choice at the top. Uh, coming out of this piston, we want one slime block here, another there, and then a third one up to the top. We want a redstone block here, then a block of choice just like that. Next up, we want a slime block here, one slime block to the bottom, block of choice on the bottom here and right there, and we need one up top. Next up, we can go ahead and just add in two more to that middle piece, and you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this coming along. So uh, knowing that, we're going to go ahead and mirror it coming out of this side. So first up, you want a slime block, and then coming outwards, you want a redstone block right here. Temporary block, so you can place your wood uh, facing this direction. Then you have two more right here. Another temporary block for three more wood at the bottom. Next up, you want a piston uh, coming out just like so. Slime block right here is good to go. You want to go ahead and uh, put three slime blocks total coming inward. Next up, you want to go ahead and place a redstone block here with stairs against it. Then coming uh, off of this slime block, you want one regular block of choice here. And then uh, right here, you want like a piston. Now, once you have that, what you can go ahead and do is add a slime block to the top of that one with a block of choice. Now, moving forward from this piston, you can go ahead and move out with one slime block, one slime block again, and then one up to the corner. Uh, you want a redstone block just like so, block of choice right there. Then uh, next up, what you can go ahead and do is add a slime block here, slime block to the bottom, 
block of choice to the bottom again, another block of choice right there, and then one more to the top. So you should be looking at this overall shape uh, to your blocks so far. I'm just going to go through, make sure that we're not missing anything, which we are not. So that's always good besides those two blocks, of course. Now we're not missing anything. <clears throat> okay, so moving forward, coming off of these pistons here, we want to go ahead and stack three slime blocks up on both sides. Then we want to go ahead and place uh, two redstone blocks, just like so, on those slime blocks. Now uh, we're going to go ahead and move back around to the front again. Coming out of the middle, we want two wooden planks, just like so. We want a slime block coming up to meet this wooden plank. Then after we, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, after we do that, we want to go ahead and place in our wooden block sideways, just like so and then two uh, quartz stairs just like this. Next up, we can add in uh, a piston to both sides of that slime block we just added. Then we can add uh, two pieces of wood moving up just like so, one and two. And then on the top of those uh, pieces of wood, you wanna go ahead and add in two redstone blocks. Then on the top of these slime blocks, the last pieces of course will be these two pistons. So yeah, you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this so far. Next up, what we're going to go ahead and do is come out from uh, these pistons like so. We want uh, one slime block from each, then we want to go ahead and place just two blocks of choice just like so, and then two uh, piston like this. Next up, we're going to have to come around this way, mosey on down this direction, and then we want a slime block here, and then a slime block there on the bottom. Moving through, we want to make sure that uh, you know we don't mix anything up, so this is what it's going to look like. Uh, looking at it from this angle, I want to go ahead and place a redstone block here with stairs here and then another staircase here. So I'm trying to move really slow so you guys can see what's going on. Uh, same thing over here, we'll go ahead and copy it up. We need a redstone block right there. We need a slime block right here. And then as soon as we have done this, we can go ahead and add in our stairs here and then one right there so once we have that we are good to go we are ready to move forward again with uh, these two slime blocks just like so you want redstone blocks on the top of them then you want one two three blocks in the front just like so two blocks here two blocks on the side two blocks here two blocks on the side next up you can go ahead and throw down uh, pistons on the far ends of the just basic plate of blocks that we just added in and of course once you have all of that you guys we are ready to move forward all right so moving forward again what we're going to go ahead and do is drop back uh, this way to the very 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 back of the machine next up we're going to go ahead and grab our sticky pistons we're going to place one uh, right here just like so and then we want one uh, in the same spot on the other side next up we're going to go ahead and grab slime blocks we're going to place three of them coming out so it connects to this redstone block from the sticky piston so yeah this should look exactly like this next up we're going to fill the bottom up with three pieces of glass. Next up, we want to go ahead and add in a wooden block there and here. Go ahead and add in our glass on this side as well. Next up, once you have this, we can go ahead and add in a uh, wooden block uh, right there so it connects these two. Next up, we can add in three fence posts uh, to the top of each of these three slime blocks, so six total there. Now, once you have done this, what we can go ahead and do is just add in a piston here, sl uh, slime block coming off the sides of this, and then a redstone block just like so, with a piston right there. So, of course, again, that is a piston right here, with a uh, slime block coming off the side, and then another, then a redstone block to the back, and a piston right there. So. Once you are looking at uh, that completed area back there, we can move forward to this location. What we're going to go ahead and do is break out this block and place a piston in there so you have this overall shape so far. Next up, uh, next to this end stone on the engine, you want to go ahead and place a, another piston right here. Now, uh, dropping all the way down to here really fast, what we're going to go ahead and do is coming off of this piston, we want to go ahead and have three slime blocks on both sides. Next up, we can go ahead and add in a redstone block here, just like so. 
and one right here just like so. So once you've done that we can go ahead and grab uh, some block of choice. We can go ahead and throw in one there and then one right here. On the top of that block you want to add in a staircase and then uh, in front of it. So in the front of it sideways and then on top of it. So yes, once you have this, you can go ahead and add in a block sideways like so to make it look uh, kind of cool, much better and stuff. You can even change these blocks if you wanted to. Next up, we're going to go ahead and do is come out from this piston here with a slime block here, one slime block in front of it, and then a piston. Next up, we need one more slime block right here, redstone block to the top, and then a uh, regular block of choice right there. So once you have uh, that, that is this uh, full completed area now, which is looking much better uh, now that it's all covered up. So once we're going to go ahead and uh, go to this piston here, we're going to come out from it like so, and then we want to make this four block kind of shape. Next up, we can actually do the same exact thing on this side, except opposite, so mirrored. Yep, so uh, knowing that, we're going to go ahead and do is add in a block of choice here and there, and then one right there. So one right here, one right there, and one right there. So once you have uh, this, we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, stained glass. We're going to place uh, two of the sides just like so, so you have this overall uh, shape. Same with over here, you want two stained glass on uh, both sides, so eight total. Next up, we're going to go ahead and drop to the back, and we're going to place a redstone block in that open spot. So, and for the last step uh, uh, for this area here, what we're going to go ahead and do is come out and place a slime block here. We want a redstone block right here. Then on the bottom of this slime block, we want one block here, then two, then three. So that'll be three blocks total right here in front, uh, or on the bottom of this slime block. Next up, what we're going to go ahead and do is switch out our fence posts uh, for a sea lantern. We're going to put the sea lantern right here, and then I'm going to switch the sea lantern for some uh, spruce steps, and I'm going to place them on top of the uh, sea lantern in front of the redstone block, so it looks exactly like this. Now, this is exactly where you will stand uh, to pilot your machine, so that's always fun to know. Uh, once you have all of that, you guys, you are ready to move forward. All right, so for uh, this step here, what we're going to go ahead and do is drop back to this piston first, and we're going to come off of it with one slime block like so, one slime block to the inside, then we want a redstone block right here. Next up, we're going to go ahead and place a uh, block of choice right there behind uh, this slime block. Next up, we want a wood block of choice uh, right here. We want one, two, three coming out of that slime block. Then we're going to drop down to the bottom of it and then place one, two, three more, just like so, with a piston on the front of that. Next up, we're going to come out from that piston with a slime block here here and then all the way forward to this wooden block next up we can go ahead and uh, place another slime block right here then we want to go ahead and uh, place a redstone block right here so you should have this overall shape so far it's kind of confusing from this direction so <laughs> i'll show you from this way we placed these blocks right here and then the redstone block next up you uh, want to go ahead and place a temporary block so you can place this block into uh, where it needs to be uh, and what direction it needs to face next up you want another one right in front of it and you want two uh, block of choice right here in front of that. Next up you can go ahead and end that up with another block of choice right here. Now once you have all of this right here we're going to go ahead and move over to this piston and mirror it. So coming out from there you want one slime block here, one slime block there, redstone block on top, block of choice straight to the back so you have that overall shape so far. Next up, coming off the front, you want one, two, three uh, block of choice wood right there. Then on the bottom, you want one, two, three uh, wood block of choice there with a piston in the front. So that is that uh, full piece here. Next up, coming off of that piston, you want one slime block here, then one to the side, and then bring it all the way up to this wooden block there. Next up, you can go ahead and add in a slime block towards the inside. Then you want a redstone block here, and that is what we have so far, is these three slime blocks plus these two and the redstone block. Next up, what we want to go ahead and do is add in a temporary block and then destroy it so we can get this block into place uh, facing this direction. Same with this block. We're going to go ahead and just put two in there. 
Next up, we're going to have two uh, regular block of choice right there, and then one more right there. That should wrap up that uh, piece on both sides. Next up, coming in to these pistons here. We're going to go ahead and uh, come off of each of them with a slime block, uh, redstone block on the top of that, and then slime block in the front of uh, both of those redstone blocks. Next up, we're going to go ahead and grab our block of choice, and we're going to uh, go ahead and circle the outside of the slime block like so. Next up, we can go ahead and add pistons in right here and then right there. We're going to go ahead and grab some glowstone. And starting from this slime block, we're going to come out one, two, three, four glowstone. So you should have something that looks exactly like this coming out from this piston so far. Now, once you have this, we're going to go ahead and come out from this piston with a block of choice on both sides. Next up, we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap around this regular block with three slime blocks then we want a redstone block right there next up we can go ahead and come out with a slime block here then we need a regular block right there so we're going to go ahead and mirror that of course coming off this side so we're going to circle this slime block with three slime blocks then we need a redstone block right here and then we need one slime block out to there next up we're going to place one uh, slime block right here and then one final slime block right there for just uh, the whole of the ship of course next up we need two uh, stained glass just right here and then another two right there now once you have done that you guys you have completed the whole of the ship and the helm the captain's quarters the deck all of that so yeah uh, now uh, we move on to the sails all right so it is that time again we are going to test the machine to make sure we did not miss any blocks but first up we actually did miss two blocks i did uh, one block here a slime block and then one redstone block just like so of course i already did that to the other side so i just missed it on this side when i was going so you know it happens but hey at least it's just that now we're going to go ahead and test our machine now so what we're going to go ahead and do with these blocks in place is we're going to go go ahead and come back this direction into uh, the uh, captain's quarters and we're going to go ahead and blow out all of the obsidian and that was five so far that's six and then that is seven so once we have done that we can go ahead and head back out to the front so now that we are here we can go ahead and update this uh, sticky piston once and then fingers crossed of course again we can update it Woo! and it is going that is always good news so and of course in order to stop it as soon as it moves forward once update it and it will stop the entire machine and as you can see the entire machine has moved forward Whew. that is good news that is excellent news that means we are doing an excellent job an excellent job so yeah just make sure that you put in uh, these two uh, pieces and you are good to go all right so moving forward what we're going to go ahead and do is start on the sails so of course you guys it is all downhill from here it is literally this sail which will be then uh pushing the next sail and then this sail pushing the next sail over so then as soon as we are done with these we're done we're done and then we'll place our gas and uh yeah i'll show you how to put the treasure chests in your uh, captain's quarters so knowing all of that what we're gonna go ahead and do is drop all the way to the back of the ark and locate these redstone blocks right here so it'll be uh, just behind this glowstone it's these redstone blocks so what you want to do is come off with a sticky piston from both of them then you want a slime block on each one with a slime block here diagonal from both of them next up you can place a block of choice right here and then you want a piston to the outside of both of these slime blocks next up we're going to go ahead and just place two slime blocks like so coming out of the sticky piston with a redstone block here then we'll do the same on the other side who got a pretty big lag spike there next up once we have this what we're going to go ahead and do is grab our slime blocks and we're going to come out diagonally from this slime block and we're going to do that again and then one last time so you want three independent slime blocks like so diagonal from each other with one more right there next up starting from there i'm going to grab my birch uh 
my birch fences and I'll go ahead and place my posts down like so so you should have four of them just like this which will push these slime blocks forward and then this top post will push this piston forward so knowing that what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna locate uh, this hole right here then we're gonna go ahead and place a temporary block and then a block on top of it next we want to break that temporary block and then put this block back now once we have done that we can go ahead and come off the top of this block with one two three four slime blocks like so and then a redstone block on top of it next up we can go ahead and add in uh, two pistons down here and that's all there is to know about those two all right, coming back this way to the back, we wanna go ahead and have three extended sticky pistons coming off that redstone block like so. So it should look like this overall so far. Next up, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna place slime blocks on all three of those sticky piston. Then we're gonna come around this way and place a piston on the side of that one, top of that one, and then the side of this one. Next up, we're gonna come back to this piston. We're gonna come out one, two, three, four, five slime blocks total. Next up, we can grab our pistons, placing one every other slime block. So once you have those and those three piston, you wanna go ahead and just place a redstone block right there. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and mirror that to this side with one, two, three, four, five slime blocks. And then we're gonna place a piston every other slime block. Next up, we just wanna make sure to put in that redstone block. Don't wanna forget any of those. All right, so coming off of uh, the top of this sticky piston here, you want one, two, three, and four uh, total slime blocks, and then you want one, two uh, coming backwards like so. So you have the one, two, three, four, and then two more, and then one on top of it. And then coming back to the front, you wanna go ahead and just place a piston like so. Then once you have this, you can go ahead and place two pistons, one here, and then one right there. All right, after this, you wanna go ahead and make sure that you have a redstone block right there. Don't wanna forget those. Uh, coming off of these pistons here, uh, we're gonna have kind of a crazy piece going on. So we wanna come off of both of them like so, and then we can go ahead and connect them with a uh, block of choice like this. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and come back on this side with two slime blocks and then two more just like so, so it has this four pattern. Next up, we're gonna put a piston uh, facing forward right there, then a redstone block right here. Then we're gonna go ahead and copy that same thing onto this side, just mirrored. So we want two in the front and then two uh, hanging on in the back with a piston uh, right here on the side, then a redstone block up top. Next up, we can go ahead and come down with two slime blocks and a piston right there. After we've done this, we can actually uh, go ahead and come out of these pistons here, but we'll start with this side. I want to come out uh, with one slime block just like so, and then uh, one slime block, sorry, to the outside. We're going to start over. One slime block here, one slime block to the front, then one slime block to the outside. One slime block here, another here, and then another there. So you should have this overall shape so far. Next up, we're going to go ahead and mirror that uh, piece because it's so crazy. It even had me confused. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and place two slime blocks coming out uh, just like so, and then we want the uh, bottom one to the outside one here one here and then one right there so you should have that exact look overall so far next up we're going to grab our pistons we're going to place one here on the outside one underneath right here one on the outside up here and then one right there so you should have that overall look when we go ahead and mirror it to this side piston there piston here piston there and then one more piston right there next up we don't want to forget these redstone blocks on top of the just random slime block hanging out so once you have all of that you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this next up we're going to go ahead and come over to this piston we're going to come out from it with one two three four five six slime blocks total uh, after that, we want to go ahead and place a piston on the top, a piston right here. So there's that angle for you. And then two more down here, one and two. Next up, don't want to forget the redstone blocks. So we're going to go ahead and place one here and then one right there. After we've done that, we're going to grab sticky pistons and then just have two of them come off of that redstone block. All right, so coming back down to these bottom pistons here, we want to come off of them with a slime block each. Next up, we can go ahead and place a block wood of choice, whichever block you wish, uh, right here in between these slime blocks. And then this being our first slime block, we want to go ahead and add, uh, so this is one, we want two, three, four, five, six. Now, once you have six, you can come over here with one, two, three, four, five, and six again. 
Next up, we're going to go ahead and place a piston every two blocks, beginning right here. So one, skip two, one, skip two, and then, yeah, you guys kind of get the picture. So it looks even like that. Next up, we're going to go ahead and place a redstone block here and then another redstone block down there so you have it all evened up. Now, with that, we're going to go ahead and come up to this piston. Coming out from it, you want one slime block here, one slime block down, then you want a redstone behind uh, that redstone block, and then uh, two pistons to either side of that slime block, so it should look exactly like this. Next up, we're going to go ahead and come out to these uh, sticky pistons that are extended. We want one slime block a piece, then we want a piston here, and then we want another piston right over there. So once we have this, we're going to come back to this sticky piston. With our slime blocks, we're going to come off from the side one, two, three, and four. Four. Then we want a piston on the end. Next up, we can go ahead and add in our redstone block here. So once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and mirror that up to the other side. One, two, three, four with your piston right here. Then you want your redstone block right there. Next up, we're going to uh, add in some temporary blocks and whatnot so we can place some. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five blocks. Then we're going to get rid of this one, this one, and that one. Next up, we're going to come back here. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five blocks again. Then we're just going to get rid of those three. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. No redstone blocks missing. Uh, Everything is looking accordingly. And yeah. Next up, we're going to go ahead and come back to here. We want one, two, three, one, and two missing, just like so. So you only have those two. So obviously, you can see that the uh, slime blocks are what's holding on to uh, these blocks up here. And we don't really need that many blocks there. So knowing that, what we're going to go ahead and do is come out from this piston here with one slime block, one slime block down, redstone block here, and then a piston off of the front top slime block. So what we're going to go ahead and do is come out from this one again, mirroring the other side, slime block down, redstone block, and then a piston coming off of the top. So once you have that, we're going to go ahead and come over to this piston and add in the last piece. Uh, we have one, two, three slime blocks coming up. We have a redstone block here and then one uh, wooden block of choice on the top. And that is the last piece of this step. So yes, of course, you guys, as long as you have uh, everything seen here. Uh, I know that was a lot, but hey, you know, we're getting through it and we're almost done. So as long as you have everything seen here, you guys, you're ready to move forward. All right, so moving forward, what we're going to go ahead and do is start on the sails. So what we're going to go ahead and uh, come down to are these pistons right here. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do first is uh, come off of this piston with one, two, three, four, five blocks like so, and then a redstone block right there. Next up, we're going to do the same thing right here with one, two, three, four, five slime blocks out with a redstone block right there. Now, once you have uh, this, we're going to go ahead and do is grab our black wool, and we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, just like so, and then you want one here, then you want one in the middle, and then you want one over here on the uh, same opposite side of that one way over there. So yeah, knowing that, what we're going to go ahead and uh, do from here, this is that whole piece. We're going to go ahead and move up to these pistons. We're going to want to go ahead and come off of each one with a slime block. So it looks just like this. Now, once you have all those slime blocks hanging out, we can go ahead and place down redstone blocks on the top of each of them. Now, once you have this, we're going to take our black wool and we want... Uh, We'll start from this side down here. We'll go ahead and just place one uh, black wool here, and then you want one, two, three here, two here, two there, two here, and then one, two, three in the middle. Next up, we're going to start from uh, this side. So one, two, three, then you want two, and then you want two again, another two, and then you want three, and then one. So you should have something that looks like this. Now, once you have this, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, come out from each one of these pistons in the next row up with one slime block a piece, except for this one. This one's going to have two slime blocks, one on top of the initial pointing out of it. Next up, once you have all of this, we're going to go ahead and drop to the bottom and add in two slime blocks to the bottom of that one, two to that one, one to this one, two to that one, and then two more to that one. So once you have all of this, we can go ahead and grab our redstone blocks. We're going to go ahead and come in this way. Then we want a redstone block right here, diagonal to the piston. Redstone block there, diagonal to this piston. Redstone block here, uh, very low, diagonal to this piston though. 
another one here, and then another one right there. So once you have all of this, we're gonna go ahead and go over to our black wool. Drop all the way to the bottom again. We're gonna uh, place black wool on the bottom of each one of these slime block segments. Next up, we're gonna take uh, our wool and we're gonna place three here, and then we want three here. Then we want another three right here, and then two right there, and then another two right here. So then we want one, two, three. Again, one, two, three. Then one, two, three. Now once we have this, these little openings, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is just place pistons uh, in those. So once you have that, we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, black wool again. We're going to place them on the top of each one of these slime block uh, structures. Then once you have this, we're going to go ahead and move up to these pistons here. First up, we're going to grab our slime blocks. We want one, two, three coming off of this one with a redstone block right there. So uh, knowing that, we're going to go ahead and place two more right here with a redstone block coming off of it right there. Switching around, we're gonna go ahead and mirror all that with two slime blocks here, redstone block there. Then we want one, two, three slime blocks on the end with a redstone block right there. Going back to our black wool, we're gonna go ahead and place in two here, two up top, two up top here, two in right there, one in the middle, two up top again, two right here, two up top again, and then two right here. So for these empty spaces right here in the middle, we want one and two pistons total. Now, once you have all of that, you guys, you're looking at the bottom half of the first sale. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. So you are ready to move forward. All right, so moving forward, what we're gonna go ahead and do is add in the rest of the sail and then uh, some of these in-between ropes right here. So uh, what we wanna go ahead and do is come over to this piston and then come out from each one along this entire row with one slime block. Then as soon as you have that, we're gonna go ahead and triple that slime block on each uh, one. So you have three for each uh, segment, just like so. Next up, we're going to go ahead and grab our redstone blocks, and we want to go ahead and place one here, 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 and then one right there. So on the top of every one of those segments. Next up, we're going to go ahead and grab our black wool, and we're going to come down to the bottom. We're going to place a black wool on the bottom of each one of those slime block segments. Right there, right there, and right there. So you should have something that looks exactly like this when we go ahead and uh, fill in all of uh, these little in-between spaces with three black wool each side. So six total in between each slime block segment. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and add one black wool there, here, there, here, and there. So just across uh, the top of each one of those. Next up, what we're gonna go ahead and do is come back to this piston here. And coming off of it, we wanna go ahead and have one slime block here, one there, and then one here. And then we wanna come in two slime blocks just like so. Then once you have this, we're gonna go ahead and move over to this piston here. We're gonna make this four pattern and then we're just gonna blow out that block because you want it to look exactly like this. Next up, we're gonna make that four pattern again here. Just blow out that block next to the piston so it looks exactly like this. Then after that, we're gonna go ahead and come over to this piston, adding in these blocks as well, these five blocks in this specific pattern. So of course, you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this when you grab your redstone blocks. Place one there, one here, one there, and then one right there. Next up, we can actually start from this side with a black wool down here, a black wool right there. And moving over, we want a black wool here and here, one there, one here, one there, skip this one, one here, one there, one there, one here, and then one right there, one down here, and then one to the side. So you, basically you just filled in this entire segment right here, leaving this one open and put these two on each side. So the reason you left this one open is so we could place a piston there, but then we're gonna go back to our black wool and we're gonna go ahead and just place two more uh, on the tops of these slime blocks like so. So of course, once you are done with that, you are looking at the full sail. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, come back in this direction and start adding in all the ropes coming out of these pistons. So starting right here, we're gonna grab our slime blocks and come out uh, from this piston with one slime block, redstone block there. Next, we're gonna uh, come down to this one. Same thing as the top one, slime block, redstone block, slime block, redstone block. All right, these ones are gonna be a little different. You wanna go ahead and come out uh, two 
one slime block with one down, so you have two slime blocks coming out of that piston. Next up, coming around to the back, you want to go ahead and place uh, two redstone blocks, just like so. Next up, we're going to go ahead and drop down to this piston right here in front of where we sit. Uh, coming out from this piston, we want one slime block here, and then one here, and then one right there. Drop into the back, we can go ahead and just place in a quick redstone block. Now, this is where we uh, start to add in the ropes. So, coming up off diagonally from this slime block, you want a, one independent slime block, another independent slime block, and then a third independent slime block total. So, you have uh, this with this structure. Next up, you can go ahead and grab your uh, birch fences. You can place one, two, three, and four, just like so, with a piston right in front of that last fence. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. Alright, so coming up to this one here, what we're going to go ahead and do is come down off of both of them with one independent slime block, two, three, and four independent slime blocks total. Now we can go ahead and do the same thing right here with one, two, three, and four independent slime blocks total. We can grab our fences again, come in two there, one on the back of each of course, two here, to there, to here, and then two on the bottom. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this so far for those first three ropes. Uh, next up, we're going to go ahead and come up to these slime blocks here. Then we want to go ahead and come off of the front of the redstone block with the slime block, and then we want one independent, two, and then three independent slime blocks. So that's one, two, and three. So once we have this, what we're going to go ahead and do is grab our fences again, place one here, two, three, and there will be one on top. Next up, one, two, three, with one on top. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this so far. We have five of the uh, ropes in, and then we just have one more to go. So uh, knowing this, what we're going to go ahead and do is come down uh, one independent slime block, two, three, four, and four. Five. So that means there should be six slime blocks total in this row. I count one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we are good. Next up, what I'm going to go ahead and do is come to the bottom of this slime block, add in a birch fence, one here, 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 and then there. Now we do not want one on the bottom. The reason for that is that this is already at its 12 block push limit. So yeah, once you know uh, and have all of that ready to go, you guys, and it looks exactly like this, then you are ready to move forward with the next sale. All right, so continuing on, what we're going to go ahead and do is come back to our only available piston uh, to actually build off of. Once you find it, we're going to go ahead and look down, and uh, we're going to locate these two redstone blocks that are really close to one another. We're going to go ahead and place a uh, wood block of choice right here. Next up, we're going to come off the top of it with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight slime blocks with a redstone block on the top. Next up, we're going to grab our sticky pistons, and we're going to have one come off of both sides and the top of that redstone block. Next up, we're going to switch over to our pistons, and then we're going to go ahead and place them right here. So that would be two blocks underneath the redstone block was where uh, we want to place those pistons. So uh, you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this so far. Next up, what we're going to go ahead and do is come out from this piston with a slime block here. So it's two, and then we have another two, and then three. So that's the, the overall pattern we're going to be going with uh, for right here. So that's two again and then two from the back, and then one, two, three coming out from this slime block. Next up, we can go ahead and uh, take our pistons, and we can go ahead and add one here, another piston there, and we want another piston here, and one to that uh, outside slime block as well. So uh, once you have all of this, we're gonna go ahead and grab our uh, redstone blocks, place two here. We're gonna grab our sea lanterns, and we're gonna place two more right there. So once you have all of this, that is the uh, completed little segment uh, so far. So we're going to go ahead and come up to these uh, sticky pistons, we're going to grab our slime blocks, and we're going to come off of each one with a slime block. Then uh, we're going to place a piston here, piston on the top, and then a piston to the side. Once we have that, we're going to switch back to our slime blocks. Coming out of this piston, we want one, two, three, four, five, and six slime blocks. And as you can see, it will be running into our uh, dimension kind of barrier thing that we got going on. So uh, knowing that, what we're going to go ahead and do is place a redstone block right next to that piston, which will update and uh, move this entire segment forward because that's where you want the redstone block. Uh, knowing that, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, 
place a piston here, here, and then there. So that there's three pistons total on this segment. Coming over to this segment, we're going to do the same exact thing with one, two, three, four, five, and six, hitting our dimension wall. Next up, we're going to place a redstone block right there, which will uh, push this entire segment forward. Then after that, we want to go ahead and grab our pistons and place one, two, three along it. So you should have all of this so far. Uh, moving forward to the top of this sticky piston that is extended, we want to go ahead and place one, two, three, four slime blocks coming straight out of the top, and then one, two, and then another one right there. With a piston coming out right here, you also want a piston here, and then another piston right there. Coming in uh, to the back, you want to go ahead and just make sure you place that redstone block so this piston can push this entire segment forward. So coming out from this piston and the one next to it, we want to go ahead and place two blocks like so, then one to the side, then one here, and then one like that. So you have this overall shape. Next up, we're going to go ahead and come out from this piston with another slime block, just like so. Then we want another slime block here, one to the back of it, and then one out to the side. So you have that same shape as the other side. Next up, we're going to drop down this way, place two slime blocks here. We're going to grab our pistons, place them uh, right in front of that bottom slime block. Then we want pistons on the sides of each of these pieces, like so. Then once we have this, we can go ahead and just place in our redstone blocks. Now you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this overall so far now once you have that we're gonna go ahead to this piston coming off of it with a slime block we want to go ahead and make that four total and of course uh, this slime block will touch our uh, dimension again our dimension wall uh, after we have that we can go ahead and place a redstone block here on the top slime block underneath and then a piston here and a piston right there so that is what this full piece looks like and we can go ahead and mirror that to the other side coming out of this piston one slime block here, gonna go ahead and make it four. And of course the uh, fourth one will touch the uh, dimensional wall. Then you want a redstone block here. You want a slime block underneath the slime block you just placed the redstone block on. Then you want a piston right there and then one more piston in front of that slime block. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this overall, you guys. And if you have all of this and you are comfortable with moving forward, then we shall do so. All right, so moving forward, what we're going to go ahead and do is come all the way back to the highest piston uh, available to build on, which will be this one right here. What we're going to go ahead and do is come out from that piston with uh, one slime block here and then three more on top of it for a total of four slime blocks. Then we want two more uh, on the back of this top one and then we want one right there next up we can go ahead and place in a piston uh, diagonal to this slime block and we can place a piston right here and then a piston right there now once we have that we can go ahead and place in a redstone block right here and we can uh, move over to these pistons now uh, coming out of this piston we're gonna have kind of a weird uh, looking blob of slime blocks so it may get a little tricky so just follow along closely we're gonna have two slime blocks coming out just like so and we want uh, two coming down the bottom so there's three total here with one on the edge next up we're gonna go ahead and come around to the back of uh, this chunk and add in two more slime blocks like so to uh, make it look exactly like this so you all uh, can look at it go ahead and pan around next up we're gonna go ahead and come out of this piston here and do the same thing Two slime blocks, uh, two more straight down so you get this kind of look, and then two more slime blocks just behind it. Next up, we're going to go ahead and jump over to our pistons, and we're going to place one here, one there, one here, and then one right there. Next up, you want to aim at this block and place a redstone block so it is diagonal to the piston, like so. You can go ahead and place one right there as well. Next up, we're going to go ahead and grab a wooden block of choice, place it right here, grab our pistons, and then place one more right there. So that is that. Uh, those full pieces. Next up we're going to come over to uh, this piston here. We're going to come off of it with uh, one slime block just like so and then actually we'll do it one, two, three, four just like so. So then we can place the redstone block right there. Next up we're going to go ahead and do is grab another slime block, place it here and then one right here. Grab our pistons and then we want one in front of both of these bottom slime blocks and then on top of both of those slime blocks. So the opposites. So once you have uh, this overall look, what we're going to go ahead and do is come over to this piston here. One, two, three, four slime blocks coming off of it, uh, heading outward. So we, then we can place that redstone block right there. 
Once we have this, we're going to drop down, place two slime blocks like so, with one block uh, spacing in the middle. You want a piston uh, on each of those slime blocks, and then pistons on the opposite slime blocks up top. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this, with that redstone block there. So that would be uh, mirrored to that side perfectly. Cool. So knowing that, what you're going to go ahead and do is come up to this piston, come off of it with uh, one slime block, then two, three, four, and five, then a redstone block on the top. Then you want a redstone block right here with that space in between so it will update this piston properly. Next up, we're going to go ahead and grab our pistons. We want one here, one here, and then we're going to come up and we want one here, and then one right here. So you should be looking at this uh, full piece all together so far, along with uh, this, which we added just uh, a moment ago. So knowing all that, you guys, you are ready to move forward. All right, so moving forward, what we're going to go ahead and do is come up to these pistons right here, this one and this one. So that's how close we are to the top, this piston here and this one right here. So uh, knowing that, what we're going to go ahead and do is come out from this one with two slime blocks like so, and then we want one, two, three, four heading outward on the bottom and then back up for another two. So you should have this overall shape when you grab your redstone block and place it against that piston. Next up, we can go ahead and do the same thing over here to this side with one slime block here, uh, then two, then you want one, two, three, four slime blocks total on the bottom, and then two again over there. So you have this overall shape when you place your redstone block. Now, after you've placed your redstone block, you want to go ahead and place a piston on the top here, one on the bottom here, one there. Come over this way, you want one here, one there, and then one on the top right there. So you should have uh, this overall shape so far on these uh, first two little segments that we're adding for this step. Next up, what we're going to go ahead and do is add, uh, come up to these pistons, and then we are going to come off uh, from them with one slime block apiece. Next up, we're going to go ahead and add in uh, one slime block on the bottom of each, and then we're going to come over to the outside of each one to add in another section, a little segment of two slime blocks. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this with the top of the slime blocks coming up to the top of these pistons. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and connect these two with three slime blocks over the top and same with this one. So now you should be looking at something that looks like this. When we go ahead and grab our pistons and on the bottom slime blocks here, we want one, two, three, four, and five pistons, just in a row like that. Then we want one piston on the top middle slime block, just like so on both of them. Then we're going to grab our redstone blocks, and right below, uh, diagonal to this piston, we want a redstone block, so right there as well. And once you have all of this, we're going to go ahead and move up to this redstone block with our sticky pistons. We want one here, then one on top, and then one to the opposite side of this one. Next up, we're going to go ahead and place in three slime blocks like so. And we're going to grab our pistons, placing one there, one here, and then one right there. Now, uh, once you have this, we're going to go ahead and come out from this piston. One, two, three, four, five, six slime blocks with a piston on the end. Then once you have that piston, place a redstone block right there, and it will move it all forward. So, uh, we can move forward. <laughs> Next up, coming out of this piston, we want one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks again. And then we want a piston here, then a redstone block coming out of it so it looks like so. Next up, we're going to go ahead and add in a series of temporary blocks and whatnot. So we want one temporary block and then one block that'll stay. Temporary block, block that'll stay, temporary, stay, and then there you have it. So you should have uh, three total, leaving this open uh, slime block on the edge. Next up, we're going to do the same thing over here. Uh, one temp, one to stay, one temp, one to stay, temp, stay and don't get rid of the stay <laughs> and with one open block out here. So once you have all of this, we're gonna go ahead up to this extended sticky piston. On the top, you want one, two, three, and four slime blocks. Then you want one here with one on top of that, and a piston here and a piston there. Redstone block right here, and then you should be looking at that completed piece with these uh, four redstone blocks, or <laughs> four slime blocks, two slime blocks here, redstone block there, two pistons. 
All right, so next up, what we're gonna go ahead and do is come out of this top piston here with one slime block there, and then one to each side of it. Redstone block right here. Then coming out from this middle slime block, you want uh, one block of choice, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in a temporary block for the moment. And then we're gonna add in another one with two blocks that'll stay, and then we can get rid of uh, this block real quick so we can replace it with a block that will stay. And then another temporary block to put these in. So you should have this overall shape so far on this uh, little uh, lookout, I guess you could call it. Uh, go ahead and uh, put a slime block here and another slime block right there. And once you have all of that, you guys, uh, that is the lookout and the full back part of the sail. And yeah, we are ready to move forward to the sail. All right, so next up, what we're gonna go ahead and do is come down to these bottom most pistons, and we are going to come out to this outermost one here. We're gonna come down uh, two slime blocks like so with one to the outside, redstone block underneath it. Next up, we wanna come down two slime blocks on this one with a redstone block underneath it. And that is all there is uh, to the slime block and redstone portion of these pieces. So we can go ahead and mirror that up to this side. So coming down, you want uh, two slime blocks like so redstone block underneath it then you want one two three slime blocks uh, with that weird one to the outside then you want a redstone block underneath that so it should look exactly uh, like this next up we're gonna go ahead and grab our black wool we want one against the redstone block then we want one here one in front of this slime block and then three on top of that slime block next up we just want one black wool here with two on top of the slime block now doing that the opposite direction, we're gonna do two uh, on the top of the slime block, one here. Then we want one here, one next to the redstone block, one right here diagonal from it, and then one, two, three on the top of that one. So you should be looking at something that looks like this. Moving to these pistons, these pistons here, we will come off of with one slime block a piece, like so, <clears throat> excuse me like this and then we want a redstone block on the top of each of those like so now uh, coming out from the bottom of each one of these slime blocks we want to go ahead and add three black wool so one two three one two three same thing on this side one two three one two three one two three all right Going back to the beginning, uh, coming out from the front of this slime block, we want one black wool, and then we want one, two, three black wool here, two black wool there, two black wool on the inside, two black wool again, and then one, two, three black wool on the outside of this one. Then doing that the other direction, we want one, two, three black wool here, we want two there, and we want another two here, two here, and we want one, two, three there, and then just one there. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. If you can see it, uh, the black comes up this way and then it comes up that way on that piece with the dot there and then it is the exact opposite on this side. So when you have all of that, we're gonna go ahead and move up to the next pistons. Uh, coming out from this piston here, we want uh, one slime block. Coming out from this one, we're gonna have two. Same with this one, uh, same with this one here. And then same with this one here. So you should be looking at something that looks like that. Go ahead and add in this slime block as well. Go ahead and look at that really fast. Now we're gonna turn all of these segments into three slime blocks uh, from the bottom. So that one is now three. This one is two, same as this one, this one, this one, and now that one. So you should be looking at something that looks like this. Uh, Next up, we're going to go ahead and grab our black wool, and we're going to go ahead and place one on the bottom of each one of these slime block uh, segments, just like that. Easy as can be. After that, we're going to go ahead and grab our redstone blocks coming around to the back, and we're going to add one diagonally uh, to the corresponding piston. So one right there, we want one right here, one there, one here, one there, and then on the outside one, it's in the middle. Now, once you have that, we're gonna go ahead back over to this point, and then we're gonna add in one, two, three black wool to the inside, another three here to the inside, then three here, and then two on the bottom here with one white. Then we want another two with one white, two with one white, and then we're gonna go back to the one, two, three black, and then fill this whole piece in with the black wool as well. So once you have all of this, you can take your black wool and place one on the top of each one of these slime blocks. 
And you should be looking at this overall piece so far with the redstone blocks as such uh, and the uh, black wool and white wool starting to come together. It's starting to look like a skull a little bit. <laughs> Oh man, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding you guys. Okay, so moving forward What we're gonna go ahead and do is come out from each one of these pistons with uh, Three slime blocks like so with a redstone block in the middle to push it forward Same thing with this one, uh, but the other way we want three slime blocks and a redstone block uh, Right here going the other direction. We want one two three redstone block in the middle and then again We want one two three with a redstone block in the middle Okay, so once we have this, go back to the back again, and then we're going to place black wool here, here, and then there. And then we want one white wool here, nothing goes here. White wool here, black wool, black wool, black wool. So then we'll go up to here, add in a black wool in the middle there, black wool in the middle there, just to even it out. Then we want a piston in the middle right here. All right, we'll start from this side this time. We want one, two, three black wool. Then we want one, two, three white wool, another three white wool here, and then three black wool there. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. Go ahead and pan around for you guys real quick. All right, so coming out of uh, these pistons here, what we're gonna go ahead and do is come out with one slime block here, turn it into three. One slime block here, turn it into three, and we'll have one slime block, uh, then two, we'll turn it into three later. Same with this one, and this one, and this one will have three. This one will also have three. So the piston is pushing uh, all these slime blocks as such. Of course, we'll turn these into three segments as well. Now, once we have all of this, we should go ahead, we should probably go ahead and grab our redstone blocks. It'd probably be the best thing to do. And on the outside ones, you want to go ahead and put the redstone block on the top slime block. And then on the inside ones, on the very bottom. So one right here on the very bottom, and then to the top up there. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this with all of your redstone blocks in place. Go ahead and give you a quick little look of that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab our black wool and we're gonna place one here. Next up, uh, right here, we wanna go ahead and place white wool and then another white wool, black wool, white wool, white, and then another black. So you should be looking at something that looks like this. Now we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning. We're gonna place three black wool going up the side with one black wool on the top. Next up, we want one black wool on the bottom in the middle of this one, and then we want two white going up it with one white there. Next up, we can go ahead and add in two white on the bottom this time, one black wool there, then one black wool to the top. Then we can add in three white wool to both sides of this slime block uh, segment with a white wool on the top. Next up, we're just gonna go backwards from what we have over here. So we're gonna go ahead and put two white wool on the bottom, black on the top with a black wool here. Next up, we're gonna go do that opposite <clears throat> with a black wool here, then two white on top of it with a white wool there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then on the outside, we're gonna have one, two, three more black wool with one black wool on the top as well. So you should be looking at something that, that looks exactly like this. Now it's looking a lot more like a skull. <laughs> so of course, you guys, when we have all of this, we are ready to move forward. All right, so moving forward, what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, go all the way down to these bottom pistons here. And what we want is to place three slime blocks coming off of this side like so, with the redstone block to the middle, so it pushes it forward. Next up, you can add in three more over here, redstone block right there, so it pushes it forward. Uh, then the same thing over here, but just backwards. So three there, redstone block to the back middle. And then, of course, same thing right here, one, two, three, with the redstone block so it could push it forward. Next up, we're going to go ahead and add in uh, black wool here. Then we want a white wool there. Black, then white, white, black, white, black. All right, so once we have that, we can go ahead and add in a white wool there. Then we want a piston here and then a white wool right there. Now, after this, we want to go ahead and add in one, two, three, black wool one, two, three white, another three white, and then three more black. So you should have this overall look so far. Now, next up, we're gonna go ahead and come over to this piston here. We're gonna go all the way down and we're gonna put uh, three 
uh, slime blocks coming out from each one of these pistons. Now to start that up, I'm going to start these ones off with two really fast and then this one will have three and then I can go down this way to add in the third block. Alright, so it should look exactly like this. Let's go ahead and pan around for you. Next up we're going to come in this way. We want a redstone block here, redstone block on the bottom, then we want a redstone block on the bottom there, here, there, here, and then on the outside one only the redstone block will be on the top. All right, after that, we're gonna go ahead and grab our uh, black wool. We want two black wool here, then we want one, two, three white wool there, and then two black wool there. Next up, we want one white wool here, two here, two there, and then one right there. So you should be looking at something that looks like this overall so far. All right, moving forward, what we can go ahead and do is add in uh, our black wool to the end piece here. Um, one, two, three, with one on the top. One, two, three, one on the top, and we have two right here, one on the top. So we're basically just filling in all of these gaps on the slime blocks, like so, with the black wool. And we'll fill in this one with three, black wool to the top, and then the outside one with three. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. Moving forward, we're going to go ahead and grab our slime blocks. Come up to this piston here. Coming off of it, you want a slime block formation that looks exactly like this with a redstone block on the top. Now, coming out from this one, uh, you want to go ahead and just have it with the piston in the middle, three slime blocks, and then a redstone block towards the inside. It will push it forward. So again, that's one slime block here, and then one, uh, one to each side of the initial slime block. Redstone block to the inside, so it'll push it forward. And then we can go ahead and build this last one with these four slime blocks looking exactly like this, and a redstone block on top. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this so far. We're going to go ahead and grab our black wool. We want one here, here, there, here, there, here, and then here, here, filling in the rest of the line. Now, once we have that, we can go to these middle two slime block uh, segments right here, and we can add in three to the top of each of them. So once you are looking at that, that is the full sail with the skull on it. Of course, you guys can mess with the design uh, on the sail as you wish. Uh, this is just uh, what I thought looked good for a skull. So. Moving up to this top piston, we're going to go ahead and grab our slime blocks out. We want two jutting forward with a redstone block here. Then we want three birch uh, fence posts underneath that, so one, two, three. Then we want to go ahead and add in a slime block, three more fence posts underneath that slime block, one, two, three, another slime block, and then a piston. So it should look exactly like this uh, all the way up. It's three fence posts here, three there. All right, so moving forward real quick, we have a slime block coming out of this piston, redstone block right here, and then three fence posts coming out of both sides of the slime block. One, two, and three. So yeah, it should look exactly like this, this top little uh, rope kind of section. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and drop down to this piston. We're gonna come off from it with one slime block. Then uh, it'll be independent. We have another independent here, a third, fourth and then a fifth now once we have that we can go ahead and come back up to the top throw a redstone block down just so we don't forget it then we want to go ahead and place a black wool underneath all of these slime blocks so just one except for this one this one will have two so it should look exactly like this go ahead and pan around for you now moving down to this piston here we want to go ahead and come out from it <coughs> excuse me with one slime block here another slime block down and then one here redstone block on the top then we want a piston right there so you should be looking at this overall shape so far then we're going to go ahead and add in one two three black wool uh, in front of this slime block and then one black wool in front of the redstone block now coming out from this piston here we want one slime block here one down redstone block behind it slime block slime block so you should have this overall shape when you grab your birch fence posts and then you can place one underneath this slime block next up we can go ahead and grab a sea lantern place it here and then end this step with a piston so with all of that being said uh, everything you just added should look exactly like this and when it does you are ready to move forward to the last sale.
All right, so moving forward, what we're going to go ahead and do is come over to this piston here and then straight down from it. We're going to go ahead and locate uh, these two pistons that are just like so. We're going to go ahead and place a uh, block of choice here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten slime blocks coming out of the top of it with one redstone block right there. Next up, we're going to go ahead and add in a sticky piston to all three of those sides of that redstone block. Next up, we want one, two, three slime blocks on the, each face of the sticky piston. Coming back around this way, we want a piston here on the side, a piston on the top of that slime block, and a piston on the side of this one. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this so far. Now, next up, we're going to go ahead and place a slime block here with one to the outside. Redstone block, so it'll push it forward, and so you can place your redstone block where it needs to be. Go ahead and come down three more slime blocks like so for a total of four. So one, two, three, four. And that's the fifth one, of course. Then you want to come back two slime blocks like so. One down here, and then a piston uh, looking forward like so. Then we want another piston here. So once we have that, we're going to go ahead and come up to this uh, piston. Place in our two slime blocks, redstone blocks, so we can move it forward. Uh, three more slime blocks face down, so for a total of four. Coming back this way, we want one, two more slime blocks for a total of three on the bottom. Then one right there, so we can put a piston on the bottom of that. Then a piston there. So once we have all of this uh, all outlined and structured up, we're going to go ahead and come down to this bottom piston. Coming out from this bottom piston, you want one, two, three, four, and four five slime blocks total redstone block right here then grab your slime blocks again place it on the bottom and then you want <coughs> excuse me one piston on the very bottom then one two three pistons uh, right there with one block spacing in between now coming back this way uh, we can go ahead and just add in a sea lantern to the back of that slime block now knowing this we're going to go ahead and do the same thing over here with one two three four and five slime blocks like so grab a redstone block place it right there then we're going to grab our slime blocks again placing one right here on the bottom and then a piston on the very bottom then we want one two three pistons just like so so this overall piece looks like this with the one block spacing in between each piston Oh, and then I'm going to go ahead and throw my pistons. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up real quick. <laughs> and then we want to go ahead and add that sea lantern to the back of this slime block. So once we have this, we can go ahead and come up to these pistons up here. We can come off of each of uh, those with three slime blocks that look like this with a redstone block to the middle. Next up, we'll do that same thing to this side. Three slime blocks with the piston in the middle and then a redstone block right there. So once you have this, we can go ahead and come back with two slime blocks off the edge of this one and then two more off the edge of this one. We can go ahead and do that to the other side really fast. Two blocks, two blocks. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. Next up, I'm going to grab a piston and I'm going to come in. I'm going to place one here, one right there, one right here, and then one right here. Then I'm going to move back towards the middle, grab a block of choice, place it right here, and then add in another piston in front of it. So once we have all of that, that is this uh, complete little segment of the build. Then we're going to come over to these outside pistons. We'll start over here at this one. We'll come out from it with a slime block like so, and then we want to go up two more slime blocks for a total of three. And then this being our first slime block, uh, we want one, two, three, four, five total on the top. Now, with that being known, we want a piston here, piston there, and a piston all the way down at the edge. A good way to measure to know if you did it right is if you see three slime blocks right here. So, knowing that, we're going to come back this way and just add in a redstone block. Now, we're going to go ahead and mirror that to this side. Coming out of this piston, one slime block, two on top of it for a total of three. This being our first one to count, one, two, three, four, five on the top. Then we can place a piston here. Three blocks later, we're going to go ahead and place another piston and then a piston on the bottom of that. Again, you can measure with that three blocks in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the redstone block right here, of course, with that space so it can update this piston properly. And once you have all of that, you guys, you are ready to move forward.
All right, so moving forward, what we're going to go ahead and do is come back to this sticky piston that is extended backwards, and we're going to build one, two, three, four blocks up off the top of it with two blocks on the back, uh, so you have three total on the top, one block right there so you can add a piston to the top of it. Next up, we're going to add a redstone block here. Grab our pistons. We want one right here and facing forward, and then one right there facing forward. So that's what this whole piece should look like so far. Next up, coming off of these pistons, we want uh, one, two, three, four, five slime blocks. Next up, we want two on the bottom of that last one we just placed. Then we can place a redstone block along the piston so it'll push everything forward. Uh, after that, we want to go ahead and place in a block of choice here. Then we want one, two, three, four, five slime blocks off the top, just like so, just like the other side. And then two off the bottom. Next up, we can place that redstone block so we can slide the whole piece forward. Then we're going to grab our pistons and we want one here. We want one in the middle of this cluster of slime blocks, one in the middle of everything, one in the middle of the slime blocks again, and then one all the way over there. So once you have all of this, we can go ahead and move up to this piston. Coming off of it, we want one, two, three, four slime blocks straight up again, two to the back for three total on the top, one more there with a piston on that. Redstone block right here, then you wanna go ahead and add in a piston here and another piston like so. So once you have this, we're gonna go ahead and come off of these pistons here with one slime block here, and then you want another one next to it, two here, and then another two. So it's six slime blocks total. Next up, you want a slime block on the bottom, and then we're gonna come off of this one and do the same thing. So two here, two here, and then two here with a slime block off the bottom of the first slime block we placed. Next, we'll grab our pistons, and we want them on the very bottom of those slime blocks. And we want a piston here, piston here, piston there, here, and then one more way off to that side with redstone blocks right there. So once you have all of that, that is that uh, full little piece right here, coming uh, forward, we're gonna go ahead and go over to this piston. We wanna come off of it with one, two, three slime blocks. Redstone block there so we can push that whole piece forward. We want a piston on the front of the bottom slime block and then to the side of the top slime block. Then we'll go ahead over here and mirror that up with one, two, three slime blocks like so. Redstone block, uh, so it'll push that whole piece forward. Uh, piston in front of the bottom slime block and then a piston to the side of the top slime block. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. Uh, next up, we're gonna go ahead and come out from this piston. One, two, three, four slime blocks again with one slime block there. And then we want one redstone block underneath the last slime block we placed. Uh, on the very bottom, we want uh, two pistons, just like so. Uh, after that, we can go ahead and come off uh, from this slime block here. We want one more slime block out from it. We want a temporary block here, and then we want a block of choice right there. Uh, the only reason I did that is just so it would face this direction. Uh, next up, we're going to go ahead and come down to these pistons. We're going to come off of them with three slime blocks and then one towards the outside for a total of four. Uh, again, that's one, two, three, with one to the outside for a total of four. Then we have a redstone block here and another redstone block right there. Next, we're going to grab our sticky pistons. We're going to place one here with a slime block coming off of it. And we're going to place one right here with a slime block coming off of it. So same exact uh, as the other side. Next up, we're going to grab our pistons and we're going to uh, place them uh, facing forward, coming off of that slime block like so. Uh, after we have done this, we can actually go ahead and place one, two, three slime blocks off to the side of that piston we just placed, and then two more right here. Then you actually go ahead and place uh, one down towards the bottom here with a redstone block on it. So that will move this entire piece forward. Uh, of course, again, that was the three with the two with the one on the bottom holding the slime block. Coming up this way, we're going to do the same thing with one, two, three. Uh, two to the back like so, and then uh, the one on the bottom that will be holding our redstone block. All right, so it should look exactly like this when we grab our pistons. We'll go ahead and place one in there on the very ends of both of our uh, pieces that we just placed. Then after that, we can actually grab our uh, temporary blocks, place one here, then a block of choice, temporary block of choice. So temporary block of choice, temporary block of choice. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this, you guys. And if you are, then you are ready to move forward. 
Okay, so moving forward, starting on uh, the actual sail, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, come down to these bottom pistons right here. Uh, coming off of this piston, you want one slime block there, then you want one, two, three, four underneath it, just like so, and then you want a redstone block so we can move that whole piece forward. So it should look exactly like this. Next up, we're going to do the same thing to this piston. Uh, two slime blocks, just like so, uh, three more for a total of four on the bottom. Next up, we can go ahead and sneak in a redstone stone block so it will move that piece forward. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this when we grab our black wool. And we want one black uh, wool on the back of this slime block and then we want two on the top of it. Then we want three right there. Then we want another three right here, two more right there, and then one black wool to the back of this slime block. All right, knowing that, we're going to go ahead and move up to these pistons with uh, one slime block coming out from each of them. And once you have that, we can go ahead and fill in redstone blocks all the way back down on top of each one of those slime blocks. You should have, uh, you should have something that looks exactly like this. Next up, we're going to go ahead and uh, jump back over to our black wool. We want one coming out of the bottom of our end pieces. And then we want uh, one, two, three coming out of every other one. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one on the end piece. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. Uh, starting from right here, we want one black wool on the front of that slime block. Then we want one, two, three black wool right there uh, in between them. Two here, and then we want one, two right there two more here and then one two three along the side next up we're going to do that same thing over here uh three uh three black wool here then you want two there another two here two there then you want one two three there and then one right there so you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this next up we're going to go ahead and come over uh, to these pistons here and we're going to come down three slime blocks off of each of them now uh, we're going to go ahead and place in the redstone block in just a moment so it will push all of these pieces forward so what we want to go ahead and do is uh, once we have all three of those in place we can start adding our redstone blocks one there one here one there here and then one last one right there so those redstone blocks are in the middle of those slime block segments uh, moving forward we want to go ahead and grab our black wool and then coming out of the bottom of each of these you want one piece of that wool so we can go ahead and do that and then we're going to go ahead and fill in the entire middle section uh, with six black wool in between each section so once we have done all of that, we're going to go ahead and come to the top and add in one piece of black wool on the top of each one of those slime block uh, pieces. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this with the redstone blocks in the middle of the slime block pieces. So coming up to right here, we want one, two, three slime blocks like so, redstone block to the middle. We want one, two slime blocks there with a redstone block on that side. Then reverse, we want uh, two slime blocks here with a redstone block to this side. Then we want one, two, three slime blocks there with a redstone block to the middle. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. We're going to go ahead and grab our uh, black wool again. We want two here, one there, two here, skip this one, two here, one there, two here. Now, for that one that we skipped, we're just going to go ahead and place a piston. Now, on the top of all these slime blocks, we want to go ahead and place one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three uh, black wool. So, once we have all of that, so we're going to go ahead and come off of uh, this piston here with three slime blocks. And then this one will have three, but we're going to start it with two for the moment. Same with this one and this one and then this one will have three as well so then we can go ahead and add in that third block to the bottom so you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this with these five uh, columns of three slime blocks next up we're going to go ahead and grab our redstone blocks and on the outside ones we want to go ahead and place uh, the redstone block on the top slime block on the inside ones we just want them on the bottom so right there right there right there and then uh, on the top on the outside one Okay, so as soon as we have that, we can go ahead over to our black wool again, and on the middle three, we want to go ahead and place one black wool on the bottom, but nothing on the bottom of our outside ones. So those are good to go. Next up, we're going to go ahead and place in uh, our six wool in between each piece. Uh, right here, and then three here, three and then the last one for it right there, and then we can go ahead and just put a black wool on the top of each slime block right there. So. As soon as you have all of that, you guys, uh, we are ready to move forward. <clears throat> Excuse me, we are ready to move forward. 
Okay, so continuing on, what we're going to go ahead and do is come all the way over to uh, this piston here. We're going to come off of it with one slime block here and then one to either side. Then we want a redstone block to push it forward just like so. Next up we want one slime block coming off of this, one to the front, then one to the side with a uh, redstone block to the top of this slime block here. Next up we want to go ahead and do the same thing right here with these uh, three pattern of slime blocks. One redstone block right there and then we want to go ahead and uh, put in our three slime blocks here with our piston in the middle. Redstone block right there to push that entire piece forward. Next up we're going to grab our black wool. We want two pieces right there, one right here, we want two more down there. We want one right here, two here, one there, two there. Next up we can go ahead and fill in the top of these slime blocks with uh, black wool as well. So once you have that, what we're going to go ahead and do is come all the way back down this way to this piston here. Now we want to come off of it with three slime blocks straight up just like so and then same with the rest of the pistons uh, all the way down. So once we have that ready to go we are ready to move forward so coming back down this way I'm gonna go ahead and grab my redstone blocks I'm gonna place one on the top of each one of these slime block segments so one right there and then there nice so once you have that we're gonna go ahead and grab our black wool again and then on the bottom of each one of these slime block uh, segments we want to place just one black wool uh, besides these besides the outside ones the outside ones we will leave alone uh, all right, so knowing that, we're going to go ahead and uh, come in off the side of this slime block, actually, and we want to add in two more with a black wool to the top. <coughs> Excuse me. Next up, we want to go ahead and add in uh, three right there, another three there, and we'll go ahead and just fill in all of these uh, little spaces with black wool like so until we reach here. And then, of course, we'll grab our slime blocks again and do the same thing uh, that we did to the other side as well. And uh, once we place in uh, that black wool there, we can go ahead and uh, put black wool on the top of each one of these slime blocks all the way down. Then of course we can put in two black wool here since those slime blocks are already in position. So coming off of this piston out here, you want one slime block here, then one there, here, and then two more out like so. So you have three here and then two right there. Next up you want to go ahead and just add in a black wool here two there, one there, with a redstone block right there. So you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. Next up, I'm going to take another black wool, place it here, and then one right there. Then we're going to grab our slime blocks again. Coming off of this piston, we want a slime block here, there, and then two more towards the middle to meet up with this last uh, wool that we placed. Uh, next up, we can go ahead and add in uh, two black wool there, and then one right there, with our redstone block right here. So once you have all of this, we're going to go ahead and grab uh, two more black wool, and we're just going to place them on the back of those sticky pistons. So as soon as you have all of that, you're looking at the uh, completed uh, sail so far. Next up, we're going to go ahead and drop all the way down to this piston right here. We're going to come off of it with a slime block, and then a redstone block on top, and then we have one independent slime block, two, three, and Four. So it should look exactly like this with one, two, three, four independents, a fifth one up top with a redstone block on the top of it. Then we're going to grab our birch fence. We want one on the bottom of every slime block. So that's five birch fence. Now as soon as you have that, go ahead and grab a piston, place it on the front of the uh, last birch fence that you uh, placed. Coming off of that, you want one slime block here, redstone block on top of that. And then coming out from the bottom of the slime block, you want one, two, three, four, five uh, birch fence just like so and then you will be looking at the completed version uh, the completed structural version of the arc and then uh, lastly we will go ahead and place in the mobs okay so moving on to the final step what we're going to go ahead and do is place our ghasts and our treasure chests and then we uh, will test the machine to make sure that it all works so what we're going to go ahead and do is come all the way to the back of your robot then you want to go ahead and duck down this way so we can come in through the middle bottom so we can enter the first gasp uh, little holding cell I guess you can call it what I'm gonna go ahead and do is place a temporary block right here and then I want to get uh, really low make sure that my game is not on okay cool it's not on peaceful so we'll be good to go there 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and place a ghast right there. Next up, I wanna make sure I name him. So I'm gonna name this one Shiver Me Timbers. <laughs> I think that's a, a pretty fun name. So then once I do that, I wanna go ahead and make sure that you blow out your temporary block. Now, once you have that, you can go ahead and uh, come into the next ghast chamber. Place a temporary block right here. Next up, you wanna place a ghast on top of it and then make sure to name him. Uh, this guy's gonna be named Matey. I think that's kind of fun. <laughs> Next up, we're going to go ahead and blow out that uh, temporary block. Then we're going to move into the last ghast chamber. And we are going to go ahead and come off that slime block with a temporary block right here. So once you have this temporary block right here, we're going to go ahead and spawn a ghast onto the top of it. And then we will name this one Scurvy. Then we'll go ahead and blow out uh, your last temporary block and all your ghasts are placed. So now you can see them. They're all just hanging out in there ready to battle your foes. So with that being known, we're going to go ahead and go up into the top of the machine right here. Of course, you can go in through the captain's quarters, but I'm just trying to save some time by going through right here. So once we are inside, we're going to locate uh, these redstone blocks. Now, once we have uh, located them, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab uh, some boats real quick. We need a boat on us. Go ahead and replace the mine carts. Actually, we'll replace one of our tags. That's better. So we want a boat. Uh, directly in front of us right here if we could place it right there and then we want one oh goodness we want one here if we could place it right there's one and then we want another one right here all right so once you're through that trial <laughs> we're going to go ahead and uh, have a block come off the top of the boats next up you want to go ahead and just place uh, two rails on the top like so then your chests and then you can go ahead and break the rails first and after you break the rails you can go ahead and break the block below them so now your chests uh, will sit here and they will move along with the rest of the build so knowing that what we're going to go ahead and do is come back out to the outside of the machine we're going to grab our flint and steel we're going to go in through the captain's quarters and we're going to break out all of the obsidian. So doing this, we're going to go ahead and break one, two, three, four, five. And then there's two more over here, six and seven. And that is the total amount of immovable blocks that should be in your build. Of course, if you placed more, then uh, you want to remove all of them. So knowing that, what we're going to go ahead and do is coming out of the captain's quarters, we're going to go up these stairs and we're going to sit right in front of this sea lantern. And then we're going to go ahead and update this sticky piston, uh, sticky piston once, and then one more time. And here's hoping that everything is good to go. So far, so good. This thing is huge. <laughs> All right, so once you're done sailing the high seas, you can go ahead and uh, aim at this slime block. And then once you move forward, you can go ahead and update which will update this sticky piston and stop your machine. So once you've done that, uh, we can go ahead and drop back, see if anything moved or if anything's all messed up, but it is not. Uh, the arc is perfectly good to go and it is sailing like it should. So with all of that being known, uh, yeah, you have built an arc and it is done and ready to go. All the gas are still just hanging out inside Got our boats up here, make sure they're all still good. Yep, and they have our minecart chests in them as well. So you can go ahead and fill those up with loot and you can just have a blast. I'm really glad I was able to uh, give you all the arc. So yeah, this one's to you, the arc. But that's gonna do it for this tutorial, you guys. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you had a good time. Of course, I hope to see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching again and your support. You are all awesome. And until that next video, you guys, later late.